Hello, and welcome to High Rollers D&D. I'm forcing myself to be very positive because I don't feel very well this morning. <laughs> welcome to High Rollers Dungeons & Dragons. This is the Dungeons & Dragons campaign here on the Yogscast Twitch, also on High Rollers D&D Twitch, which if you like, you can sub up now. If you've got Amazon Prime, why not use that? Give us a little cheeky subarino. Get those High emotes. D &D. Get those yeah. emotes. Get it locked in. I'm your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes. You look Join so useful. Me. I do. I clean shaven once again. Because I did a stupid costume again yesterday. <laughs> but it was gorgeous. The beard's coming back. Don't worry, I'm done. I'm done now. Gorgeous. Unless there's a donation in the Jingle Jam to bring Bowsette back. But I'm sure there won't be. Uh, anyway. <laughs> just throwing that out there. We've got Full House. Joining me. Full House. Rhiannon. Uh, hi. She's back. <laughs> Century's back. I'm back. Chris Trump. Hi. Kim Richards. Hi. Tom Hazel like, getting in on this camera. I mean. Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy. That was creepy. <laughs> Tom Hazel and Katie, we're all here to play Dungeons and Dragons. First things first, a big thank you to our sponsor, D&D Beyond. What? We love D&D Beyond. It's cool. amazing. We use it all the time. <laughs> However, you have now run out of your Sensitive. chance to get a discount code, but you should still check out... Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> you should still check out the Indie Beyond. It's the official digital tool set for Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. It's got a compendium, it's got a character builder, you can manage your campaigns, and it's got Twitch integration. Mm. Which, do we still have active? We should have. Or did we turn it off? I didn't turn it off, so... So it's still on. It's a sweet-ass overlay if you're it's on... a sweet overlay if you're over on High Rollers D&D. Yeah, it's on High Rollers. Yeah, it's not on your High Rollers D&D, check it out. So go check that it's out. Really cool. Another reason you should check out High Rollers D&D on Twitch. Absolutely, <gasps> Kim. Great plug. Uh, I didn't have time. <laughs> I was too busy doing other stuff, so I didn't write full notes. Uh, but, wow. wow. <laughs> that was a Mark Hume style but I'm impressed. Power play. Power play. <laughs> Damn, been <laughs> upstage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> New merch in our merch store. Uh, you can go to store.yogscast.com. Uh, check out High Rollers, it's under the content uh, creator tab. We've got tote bags, we've got a calendar mm. for 2019. Mm. It's amazing, it's got a bunch of artwork for some, uh, some fan freelancers. <laughs> <laughs> fan, fan freelancers. I was going to say fan artists, but we paid them so they're freelancers. They are very much professional They're really artists. awesome, yes. you should check those out. We've got tote bags, mm -hmm. we've got Metal Heroist dice, yep. we've got Heroist t-shirts, yep. we've got hoodies, posters. I think the metal ones posters. are sold out now. These are sold out, sorry. Are they fully oh, sold, sold out? out. Mm. Oh, I but they, we still have the... Well, we've got the plastic dice though. I checked the website yesterday, okay. it says Plastic out. dice are still there. we still got our, our base plastic dice set, which are really yeah. nice, and they're a bit cheaper as well. Um, um, oh, one thing to point out is the calendar is currently a pre-order. Yes. So they're not shipping just yet. Because it's not 2019 yet. Should be soon. Should be soon. It's not Christmas. It's 2019. Calm yourself. It's, it's not Christmas. Christmas. Stop stocking Christmas um, stuff. Really. There is also <laughs> some discussions that we are going to put up our MCM poster. Because we didn't get to do our signing on Saturday, we're going to put some MCM posters up on the store as well. Yes. That'll be your Signed chance to one. get that. Signed once. Mm. So that'll be but your chance. Date TBC. Yes, TBC, because we need to sign them and get them on the store. Yeah. Um, that's the store. That's our sponsor. Please tell me if I've forgotten anything else. Somebody else. My are brain. you wearing pants? I'm wearing uh, jogger bottoms today because nice. I'm Good feeling real lacy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, um, I think that's everything. Podcast, as always, out on Mondays and Thursdays. Yeah. You got Rogue's Gambit on Mondays. That's uh, over on High Rollers D&D and Wizards D&D uh, Twitch as well. Um, so you can check that out. That's Rogue's Gambit. That's getting pretty crazy. And I think that's it. Uh, the MCM think. show is out on YouTube. That's yeah. also yeah. out on YouTube. That's out on YouTube and podcast as well. So listen to that. There's no footage on there, but... Um, Oh, okay, so it's just audio only. It's it's a nice little taster for what the yeah. podcast is like. Oh, there you go, lovely. Bam on right. YouTube. You don't uh, have a choice. <laughs> you don't have a choice because that's yeah. <laughs> and with that, let's play the ROS intro video. Yes, as we get ready to play. Mm.
<laughs> I cut that in way too early. <laughs> I was hoping that it would catch me going, stop talking, <laughs> and then it would come live. Hello! Welcome back to Erois here <clears throat> on the Yogscast with the High Rollers. That's us. <laughs> stop talking now. <laughs> We're those guys. Hey, for a recap, let's do a recap of what happened last time. Especially for Rhiannon, who needs a recap <laughs> yes, to find out what's been going Shit on. got real. So. You now have so, four arms. Buckle up. That's not true. Oh. Each one has a laser on it. Oh. That's not of true. Of a different oh. element. Oh, Fire, one ice, day. water, One day. Air. Why must Elemental you tease arms? Games? No. General Sentry. Last time on Hyrule's General Kenobi, yes. <laughs> um, the gang set off from Rose Hall, which is a small frontier town on the continent of Suvona after their airship crashed. Um, and they've made some friends in the town. They are currently investigating an elven ruin, of which the town got its name, called Rose Hall, where they have uh, encountered some spooky goings-on, and some not-so-spooky goings-on. There seems to be uh, an old elven palace with touches, kind of uh, elements of the Fae, um, definitely a ghostly woman that has been seen on uh, numerous occasions now, um, who is a, uh, an old elven princess. Um, from the days just after the sundering of Erois. Um And yeah, you are currently just investigating that, uh, the ruins, or the house really. It's not much of a ruin, more of a full, fully uh, intact manor house. Upon arriving, you were beset by um, what appeared to be a number of tricks designed to try and spook you away, revealed to be a pixie who had been summoned and controlled by the princess to basically keep people away from the manor house. Mm -hmm. um, you discovered a few things. You discovered some elven bodies out in the gardens, or Nova and Quill did, um, still wearing rusted armor. Stepping inside, you were assailed by two spirits of elven warriors uh, who seemed to be kind of the vestiges of life um, looking to drain away the life force of the party leading Nova and Quill to be in a precarious position. Mm -hmm. Their maximum hit points reduced. Uh, they are not in a good way. Um, Arvel Dagus, the dwarven merchant who's been accompanying you, showed that he has a uh, very crippling fear of undead and spirits and didn't seem to be very uh, useful in a battle. Um, Valor, who is the uh, young ward that you've kind of taken on after her uh, guardians were murdered, um, continues to prove herself. She seems to have uh, a bit of rudimentary skill with lock picking. Um, She's carrying a little us. bit of magic. She's kind of carrying you at the minute. Yeah, she's a sure. nat twenty generator. Yeah. Yeah. She is um, weirdly. Um, and yeah, and I think that that's pretty much where we were. And the the spooky skeletons also recognised Bella. Yes, the spirits did. They yeah. they seem to have some sort of recognition. They went, um, well, they kind of said you. They just you know they, you're not quite sure of the nature of it. Um, you did discover a uh, ring, a magical ring, uh, oh, yeah. stored away. Um, and uh, signs that the, the house has been plagued by thieves but who may have <coughs> met a grisly end at uh, the hand of some sort of trap or some such. Yeah. That I um, is where we're going to begin today. Ooh. And in fact... Oh, we're in combat, aren't we? Um, no, we were exploring the secret. No, I, I, I just got the, uh, the so ring. So you've taken the ring, right? The ring of yes. warding, was it? Oh, yeah. Barrier yeah. ring. Barrier ring. That was so blown open already. Put it on. Because the, the description <laughs> of the, the manor house could be quite hard and like obviously trying to you know detail it without a big map without loads of dwarven forge i thought i would just draw you guys a map you oh. will have to ignore some of it as if you had were not there wow um, that's cool so wow. that's so professional gesture. i know well it would be more professional if i had something to cover it up with so um we'll see if the the map cam is on if steve can get that going at some point <clears throat> there we go so you guys are currently on this side so this is the side that's closest to rose hall and this is the main hallway where you entered um this was the uh, study like room where you found the book bookshelves and the body and then this is the corridor with well, the stairway the skeleton. Mm -hmm. okay the there okay. were there more spirits they were ghosts spirits. they were so um, we've explored what three rooms of about 50 <laughs> yeah and this is the first floor this is the ground floor okay. sorry so um, cool. Okay. So just try and metagame know that you've not seen any of the other stuff. Yeah. Not that I think it gives you too much information. Oh, uh, also, <laughs> yeah, we exactly. don't know where things are. For Rihanna's benefit, the second floor has a bridge that goes across yes, the Yes, it has a, a bridge of signs. Uh, so like you get in Venice where it's kind of arched over the oh, river. Nice, cool. um, and it has windows that look out onto the river itself. Which is so where Spoopy Lady has been there? seen. Okay, Spoopy Lady. Ah, oh, thank um, you. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. 
So we're um, currently here in this corridor. You here. are currently, yeah, you, I think we yeah, ended things right. in the study, but um, you had seen the corridor. You'd opened the door and seen that the corridor lay. And then we got attacked by the nice. ghosts. Yes. Nice. And then I believe that you were debating what to do. Yeah, so I've got this ring, and the ring lets me cast shield. Which is pretty. It useful. doesn't let you cast shield. It's like a physical barrier nope. shield that you hold up. Oh yes. no, sorry. Yeah, so you can conjure it, a shield. I can conjure a like shield. Like magic. For some shield, reason, I had in my spell head. shield. Yeah, yeah. I can do shield. Nice. And I can do that as a reaction, can't I? Uh, man, I really should have written it out for you, even yeah. though I gave you all the information last week, Tom Hazel. Well, it's not on my. Not it's not on my it. character. I know because I've not added it there. I was hoping that you might write down physical it lasts notes. For a minute. Not a magical. It is. Uh, it is. You can use it twice per day. It lasts for a minute, um, and when you use it, you can conjure a spectral shield, which gives you a plus two bonus to AC, as if you were wielding a shield, but you get no penalties even if you're not proficient. And you so, also can't hold anything else. Well, because, yeah. It's a free hand. It's my only hand. Yeah. But you oh, can yeah. cast spells with it. It's like, basically, it kind of projects along the forearm or whatever. Oh, wow. Um, nice. But, yeah, cool. it's twice, twice per day, lasts for a minute, plus two AC, basically. Okay. Um, I will make it in D&D Beyond and then add it for you. Ah, uh, so it's a Mark Hume special. Yes, it's not a common magic item. And yeah. Nice. Um, you'd also, you'd, you'd, there were a couple of other things you noticed. There was a strange creature that had stolen a few things that seemed to be able to create kind of portals. Steve's just fixing stuff, don't mind him. <laughs> He's just wandering around. Um, <laughs> Oh. oh, it's the camera. We just fixed oh no, the stuff. lights went out in the mansion! Oh, oh so spooky! <laughs> Thanks, Steve. So, yeah. So, um, at this point, yeah, you guys had... Uh, Find the ring. What do you want to do? Um, There's still no books in this room, are there? No. <laughs> As I mentioned last time, the books in the study, because uh, it looks like part of the window and the wall had broken away with a blast of this trap, um, and that has let moisture and, you know, overgrowth kind of take over and the books have decayed and worn down. Um, but they, I mean, looking at the spines, you don't think that these were, you know, it's not like these were like spell books or, you know, anything particularly impressive. Uh, these look to be just kind of, you know, more old school, like, you know, pieces of fiction, but also maybe like encyclopedias of like foliage and no, the kind no. of stuff that like rich people might have just as a status symbol. It's not necessarily Good any leather. useful knowledge um, to be gained from what they, whatever those old books were, you don't think. Anyway. Nova probably knows all of it. Yeah. Um, whatever. I mean, she Fiction. thinks she knows. Fiction. Yeah. I mean, even like the, even that there are the few encyclopedias and things there, it would have been like... Basic. Plants of, you know, herbology of the lowlands or something like that. You know, it's not going to be anything uh, esoteric. Was there a secret passageway where we found the lockbox, or was it literally a secret compartment? Secret compartment. Okay. Within the, yeah. Yeah. Okay. The secret room. compartment that held the uh, jewelry box and some potions which had been destroyed. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Um, well, if there's nothing else to explore here, we should move. We should keep going. Uh, well, this is going to be very useful, um, at least for keeping me alive, but I'm not sure about... It really suits you. Oh, thank you. It's, yeah, uh, it's, it's my... It's the same colour as my beak. Looky. <laughs> is this Did off? you just say Luki? Yeah, well, Are you adopting Lucius's vocabulary? He's rubbing off on me. This is dangerous. <laughs> Not literally. What? Yeah. Hmm? What does that mean? Nothing. Um, I just, it, I've gotten used to his, his vocabulary. Okay. That's his, adorable. Is it? His wordy. He's learning. He, if, if he, it's so cute. I, I, okay, well, I'm already sick of this. I mean, <laughs> wordies for the birdie. <laughs> if you're, if you're all done talking funny and debating, trying to forget terms, the spirits. Well, yeah. I mean, what do you, what do y'all want to do? I, I'm afraid I'm not sure if I think I can go any much further. Mm. There's any more of those spirit things. You can't be left alone. I've heard the stories in books that my nanny used to tell me. Well, look, these and if things... the group splits up in a haunted house. That one always dies. I think he's talking about just leaving the house, Lucius. I mean, oh. I can wait outside, I mean. What if there's ghoulies outside? Well, I mean, we didn't see any when we were passing through on the road, and quite frankly, at least there, I know I can make a run for the gate and get away from here. Our chances do diminish with you going, but uh, I understand if you're scared. Well, I don't, I mean, the problem is, is, I mean, if I freeze up again, I'm just gonna be a burden. It would be useful to have you at least by the exit if we ever need to make a Quick getaway. I, mean, I can um, hang out outside, but that's true. But I think we need to carry on. We we can't leave now. We know the what we're looking for is still here. 
Um, so now's the time to carry on, I guess? Well, that's up to you folks. I think. Yeah, it's moving. I could hold your hand, Orville. I don't need no hand holding. It's, it's just, well, like I said, ever since I was a boy, I've, spirits and ghosts and that sort of thing just ugh, rubs me up the wrong way. I just, I don't know. I can't, can't describe it. Bella. Uh, yes. How are you I doing? Pokes around. Ah, uh, fine. The that I mean, I didn't get injured or anything. Um, and I mean, I'm not scared by these things. I mean, I guess they are scary, but uh, just I don't know. Like, I mean, they seem to be able to be hurt by magic and, and things like that. And you want to carry on? I mean, yeah. This place. I mean, it's old. There must be knowledge here, right? And. I mean, these paintings, and she gestures to the paintings sort of in the study and in the hall, which kind of show this alien kind of landscape and this woman, this elven woman in, in white. And there's something, you know, look at these places. There's something strange about it. I feel like there's definitely, well, I don't know. It's kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool, and I want to see more of it. So as long as we're all girl. careful, and uh, the big strong ones are at the front, right? Probably makes sense. Big strong well, ones up front. <laughs> and I mean, we don't even the know weak if ones these at the things, back. Well, the kind of effect they might have on Sentry, we don't know. So it's true. probably safe to assume nothing is good. Mm, probably. Mm, probably yeah. But they did recognise Bella somehow. There was a recognition there. I'm well, just wondering if it's a good idea. As much recognition. As much as she wants <coughs> to fight, and I admire that. You know, I admire that, Bella. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. She's like nods. Yeah. But. Is that safe? Well, I mean, you guys kept me safe before, and no offense, but so far you guys would have been turned away at the locked gate if I hadn't opened it. So. Girl Ugh. makes a good point. Yes. We need the lock picking skills. Okay, she's tagging along, it's fine. Uh, I was like, I'll wait here in the hallway just in case you need to make a quick escape. Ooh, watch out for that thing that steals things. Yeah, Keep an eye out for that. there are things around Darville, so if you do see anything and need to like bail outside. Well, if you hear me screaming, come you, back. You, you froze before. There was no noise whatsoever. You mean so? Mm. The likelihood is that the same thing will happen again. True. All right, let's get going before we get spooked again. So yeah, where do you want to go? So I mean, so far you you know that there's this corridor. It's got a stair leading up, which kind of has like a gallery effect. Like it kind of you can see the top floor looks down onto the the corridor with a staircase. Um, you can also tell there are two more doors, uh, one on the far side of the uh, building and then one directly in front of you where you come out of the, uh, the so hallway. So these rooms are all upstairs? No. The, these yeah, rooms are rooms you've not explored yet. So these rooms are connected. So like, these and are upstairs doors. Is a different, different upstairs upstairs is a different drawing. Upstairs is a completely joy. different floor. Thank okay. you. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this. You've well, not been upstairs at all, so. Well, we know that what the, what the woman we're looking for is upstairs on the bridge. Yes. At least that's where we keep that's seeing That's where you keep her. seeing her, yeah. So should we just go straight there? And sneak there. Sneak there. Are you good at sneaking, Sentry? I'm terrible at sneaking. <laughs> You're sneaking. <laughs> I, straight. I think a, a ghost will probably see us coming before we even see it. Right. I feel like they can already see us and they can hear us right now. So mm -hmm. Most likely. Stay for two few minutes. Okay. Mm. Well, so you guys make your way. Yeah. Let's go okay. to the corridor then, I guess. Give me a marching order. Uh, I think I've still got a couple minutes left of. Um, the detect magic, detect magic oh, detect as well, magic. yeah. Yep. Um, do you detect? Do I detect as I'm going up the stairs? Or well, first of all, give me a marching order. order as you leave the room and you start heading I'm in the middle. stairs. I'd like to be next to Nova. I'll go front. Front? I'll be, I'll be at the back. Okay, so front, I'll second. Be second yet. And then you two so I guess I'm behind Sentry. And then Vala will probably be in front of you. So you're at the very back and then okay. Vala's between you and Quill. Sounds so good. as you make your way out, um, you open the door and you, the, the doors here, most of them are still maintained very well. You can see that, you know, their hinges haven't rusted and things like that, but occasionally the wood has swollen a little bit and you kind of have to kind of, you know, shove them. Like Ayla kind of has to give the one an elbow just to open it um, where it gets stuck. Um, and there is kind of a, a creaking sound as it does so. Um, as you begin making your way into the room, Quill, you do notice that on the stairs, um, there is a very faint aura of magic. And I just oh. need to check what school of magic it is. Okay. Yes. Hogwarts. Uh, don't go up the stairs yet. There might be another trap there or something. 
I can see it. Um, like abjuration. A... Abjuration. abjuration. Uh, and abjuration is... One day you'll remember things I tell you. Uh, is, abjuration is, is abjuration is, the same as my ring? It is. It's protection. It's warding. So if there was an abjuration trap, for example... It would, yeah, potentially. Abjuration is defensive in nature. It could be traps. It could be many sorts of effects. It could be sort of like an alarm. It could be... Um, uh, a pro like a, a warding, like a barrier or something like that. Right. Can I grab my little bag of sand and throw it up the stairs? Yeah. Just sand. Just not not to throw it, it, just like as the bag. Like, oh, I the full bag. See, like, like a ball. I okay. want to see if it triggers anything. Okay. So you throw this big bag of sand and you can little see that there is a faded, worn carpet. <laughs> Pocket sand. Um, Pocket sand. <clears throat> Uh, there is a faded, worn carpet which kind of goes up the stairs. Um, it has uh, designs of roses and flowers and that sort of thing, but a lot of it seems to be quite moth-eaten. Uh, a lot of it's kind of been worn down. Um, there's a faint smell from the carpet as well. The whole place smells very old. It has that, you know, old person's house kind of deal. Like mine. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, you just you throw the bag of sand and, and nothing seems to happen. <laughs> What was that? That's my little blotter. Quill. Uh, yeah. You hear from the doorway opposite you where you came in, as you're kind of stood in the middle. So you've got like Ayla right in front of the stairs and then the rest of the party kind of stretch down. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple of things. So the rest of the party, you see that there are two more paintings. Um, these are hanging on the wall uh, on the other side by the stairs, just along this wall here, opposite the study. Uh, these paintings show um, a very handsome looking male high elf with blonde hair, very regal looking clothes, um, stood in this alien landscape. Um, and you can see he has like a sword. It's very posed very heroically, kind of like romance novel cover, like long flowing locks. Um, and then the other one is another one of this strange alien landscape, uh, these two paintings. Quill, as the group are kind of like, you've said like called stop and, and people are, you know, nervous throwing the sand. Yeah. Um, from the door opposite you, you do hear a kind of clanking sound, um, like somebody in armor moving around. I'm not going in there. Uh, <laughs> you yeah, you just hear like a, the creaking of floorboards, like very, very faint, but you okay. just about barely hear it. Uh, okay. Your perception things. for hearing, I'm not going to take any penalties on. Okay. Uh, one, there's definitely something in that room over there, um, moving around, and it's armored. Did it? I guess did it sound like the skeletons that came and attacked us before? No, they made no noise. They passed through the walls and just this rasping. There was no noise, but they kind of gave off this aura of cold. The, the room oh. felt chill when they came nearby. This one just sounds like yes, yeah, something in armor clanking around. Oh. Hmm. I'm not going in there. Okay, so something in armor clanking around in there. Uh, I suppose at some point we might see it when it comes through the wall, like the other ones did. Uh, two. Uh, yeah, still some magic on the stairs. I don't know what it is yet. It might be a trap, might not be. Might be an item. Could be another shield ring thing. Can I um, look and see if I can see anything on the stairs? Yeah, perception check. Yeah. Josh does that. Can I look at the painting of the high elf and see mm -hmm. if I recognize him or the landscape? Uh, yes, you can try. Give me an intelligence check. What or a Arcana. 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 <laughs> Arcana. 17. You look around the stairs. No, apart from this faded oh. carpet. <laughs> Whatever Quill has detected, whatever magic is there, is invisible to the human eye. Like, you just, it just looks like a pair of old stairs. You do hear the same clanking that Quill did. Like, as you're kind of looking at the stairs, you just very faintly hear this. And there's almost like a, a breathing to it. You can almost hear this kind of raspy breath coming from the same room. Um, and, yeah, just a very faint, quiet, and then just the rest of the house seems very, very still. Is the room... As cold as it was when no. it's no. warmed up. Seems, since well, just, yeah, since, since those creatures yeah. were just okay. dissipated, uh, vanished. Mm, I can think of that. Yeah. Something... Dispatched. 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 Disapparated. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Never. Is that painting signed? I don't know because my dice almost rolled an 18 and tipped at the last second to a two, meaning I had six on intelligence. No, but I mean, what I mean nice. you, it's looking at the painting, it's nothing you recognize. Like the landscape, the figure means nothing to you, really. I don't know. It looks really strange. I feel like I should know it, but I. I he's probably the prince in this legend that you were talking about. I know. I really should 
find out the artist and get my portrait done. <laughs> so while those two are looking at the painting, Quill, I'll head up the stairs now that... Okay, so you start heading up the stairs. Yeah, to... to so Ayla, um, are you going up the stairs with Quill, or are you going to stay I, where you are? Can I... Where's the sound that you described coming from? That's Is it from, this? There's a, there's that a door, room, okay. yeah. Okay. I kind of want to go up the stairs to see what the glow is, not okay. to... Could you get my bag of sand? So when you start making your way up the stairs, you reach like a small landing and you can see that the rest of the stairs extend up into the second floor. There is a faint moment where you feel as if you've stepped through a bubble, like some, like you've pierced some sort of magical bubble. Oh. And for a split second, you think you hear like a, like a ringing of a bell and then it just vanishes. Um, Ayla, what are you doing? Is he still there? Yeah, he's gone up the stairs. What were you doing as he walks up the stairs? I just oh, want wow. to kind of linger near this door to just okay. listen. I just wanted to listen to if that okay. noise is Okay, so you linger to closer. the you listen to the door. Sentry. I'm gonna follow Quill upstairs. So you start <laughs> upstairs. Yeah. Uh, Vatla kind of looks around and just kind of lingers near the bottom, sort of in between all of you, like the four of you. Um, the door that Ayla is stood in front of um, opens yeah. very slowly. There's this kind of like. And it's pulled in as it's kind of, you can hear it scraping against the floorboards. It's kind of heavy wood, like. And then stood in the doorway, kind of almost looking down at you, even though you're very tall, is a figure in. It is a full suit of elven plate with a closed helm. You can just see that there is a thin slit for the eyes. The rest of it is a full suit of armor. Um, where there would be skin showing, it's been bound up with like leather or a tunic that seems quite faded. But the whole plate armor has a very faint blue glow, almost oh. like veins or thorns oh, that run see. through the whole armor. Um, and the whole thing just glows, and there is a faint glow of blue in the visor. Um, so there's no, I can't see eyes. It's just you can't. You just see this faint blue glow, but it's a very thin slit. Um, and as the door opens. Uh, you just see this kind of figure stood there. They've got a long sword sheathed at their side, but they also uh, seem to have a multitude of other weapons, various Ooh. other swords. They've got about three, four swords on them in different scabbards, two, three off the belt and then one in a back scabbard, which looks longer, like larger and longer, like a great sword. Um, and as it opens, he just kind of stares down and you just hear this, you shouldn't be here. Uh, what is everyone doing? Fracking toasters. Uh, <laughs> so, I, uh, oh dear. I'm on the stair. I'm on the landing of the stairs, I suppose. You're halfway up. Uh, yeah. Who are you? It like turns, and you see it, its movements are very slow and deliberate, but still organic in a way. And it just turns, and this very faint glow just begins to pulse a little bit, like. Woo -woo, woo -woo. I am Selic Zostro, Paladin of Siaska. Leave this place now. Only death awaits you here. Okay, well, I, I, I believe him. Let's go. Are you here to protect this place? I was sent here long ago to protect something, yes. Is it a princess? <laughs> ah. I wonder how long it's been. Few of you, newer generation folk, have come by. Thieves seeking to plunder this place. Most have died. You must have some strength to have survived, my brethren. We seek information, not trinkets. Uh, information there may be, but are you willing to pay a great price for it? How much? Lucius, I don't think this is a money thing. Oh. I suggest you all step inside your feathered friend and the armor that accompanies him. They've alerted her guardian. Step inside the great hall. It generally doesn't search in here. And then he just what? melts back into the room. And you can see that whilst he moves, yeah. the armor is near silent but his boots just hitting the floorboards while giving away this clanking sound. And the swords, like these four swords on his body are constantly hitting against each other and that's what creates the clanking noise. But the oh. armor is silent as he moves. That's cool. And he just- Sentry, we need to get you some of that, buddy. <laughs> yeah, he just yeah. melts back into this, oh. this room beyond. And you can see kind of peering through the door uh, what appears to be 
um, you know, sofas, armchairs, much better preserved than the ones you saw in the study. Uh, there is also a great fireplace right in front of the door, and inside it, a green flame is just crackling on the wood, uh, like a continual flame. This is downstairs. This is downstairs. Hey, he's actually talking to us. Yeah. yeah. Positive. Oh, I'm all for following. Longer. I'm all for following I'm the thing in. that's not actively murdering me, yep. so yes. I'm gonna go in the room. Okay, so you step inside the room. Can I, Bala follows. Can I hear anything now that I've gone through the veil, I suppose, so, the alarm? Yeah, after this guy finishes talking, you and Sentry are still on the stairs as everyone else starts moving in, and you begin to hear. <laughs> yeah, I'd run. <laughs> oh. Yeah, let's go in the room. Yeah, I'm going with let's that go guy. Room, from yeah. the, the second floor, yeah. and it's drawing mm. closer and closer. Okay, I'm, I'm following that guy. Can you uh, pick up my bag of that. sand? Oh, yeah, got it. Thanks. <laughs> so you pick up the bag of sand, and then you all follow into this room. <sighs> Very important. Yeah. Uh, Leave no tracks. The last person in this armoured figure, uh, Selek, uh, shut the door and be yes? as quiet as you can. G Bah! Do I need to roll? <laughs> Make a stealth. You idiot. Disadvantage? Mm. Oh, I don't do that to myself. No, I'm not going to make disadvantage. Thank you. Yeah. Wham! Mm -hmm. 16. Okay. So, Lucius, you pull the door quiet, and you, it's quite stiff. So you kind of you gently shove it, gently shove it a bit more. Gently shove it a bit more, trying to do it as quietly as possible. Door. <laughs> and then it's as you're just beginning to close it through the thin gap of the door, you see this enormous armoured boot. Whoever wears it must be at least perhaps like eight, nine feet tall. Their leg is almost as thick as your torso as it just hits the stairs and you hear wood begin to crack. The second boot comes down and a red mist begins flowing down onto the stairs itself. You just hear a intruder, and then you shut the door. God, we're intruding. Okay. Let's go. I hate this place. Come. And you can see he, he gestures over to, there are sets of sofas, um, armchairs right in front of this fire. Uh, and in front of, uh, kind of in a pile, you see piles of old elven knives, a backlax, scraps of armor, um, leather, you, you can see that one of the armchairs has been hacked up and like strips of leather have been cut from it. Um, and it looks like he's been sort of like making makeshift armor pieces and things like that. Um, and he kind of goes down, kneels on the floor, this kind of wooden rugged, you know, uh, wooden floor covered with a rug in front of this green fire. And he begins kind of meticulously like taking the armor, you know, wrapping it around or like putting parts on himself and things like that. Uh, Just gestures over. Quite the pastime you have here. It must be boring. Yes. I must be always prepared. The Guardian, my former brethren, they are always seeking me. But it seems that they have an aversion to this place. Perhaps they still sense of Siaska's last prayer to me. What? Ah. There's a long story. Are you prepared to hear it? Yes, I'd rather hear that. All that thing is yeah, stomping like around. Yeah. We don't know what's going on in this place, so also it seems I... like some background info is needed, friend. Yes, this is a cursed place you have come to. So what knowledge you come to seek is... Well, we'll discuss that later. I told you I am a paladin of Siaska. The princess here, Vesilvena, she was exiled just after a tragedy that tore apart our world. From the few thieves that I've spoken to, I've come to understand that the world has shifted considerably, that there is a, and there are cities that fly through the sky. Yes, I live on one. Indeed. We were, the sky cities had just risen when Vesselvena was exiled here. My order was sent to keep an eye on her. We had a small monastery not far from here, and we would check in every few days. She had been dabbling in magic that the Star Mother had forbidden long before her death. Planar magic. She had become obsessed with it, dangerously so. She spoke of a prince, uh, an elf of another world that she was in love with, that she wished to bring to this world. 
but after the archways, after Vortensar, the Siaska did not wish another planar incident. The planets, too many of them are gateways to Starbane and his forces. So we were sent to make sure that Vesselvena did not continue her research. It was a few years after she settled here. She seemed content with galas and parties, inviting nobles from the sky cities, some of the merchant dwarves that had begun to colonize this continent you call Savona. But after a time, she missed her prince. She began researching planar magic once more. Her studies became more dangerous until one of the serving staff came and warned us. She was about to conduct a ritual to bring her prince to her. My fellows and I came to the palace to stop her, caught her in the middle of the ritual. I begged her to stop, told her that this was a danger, something she didn't understand. But my brethren were more upset than I. They were offended that Vesselvena had turned her back on Siaska's teachings. They sought to teach her a lesson. They shattered the mirror, a device that she had created to speak with her beloved prince, disrupted the ritual. And Vesselvena, in her madness, killed us all, myself included. What? It seems that my brethren, their rage, turned them into spirits. No doubt, I'm sure you have met some, judging by the look on your friends' faces. <clears throat> but I managed to. Perhaps it was my sympathy for Vesselvena, my last final prayer to Siaska, that I might be able to one day free her from her madness. But it seems that my armor, a holy relic of our order, kept my sanity intact. I am dead, but my spirit endures, as you can see now. And Siaska is keeping you alive? Uh, I believe perhaps a, a part of her holy magic, yes. What magic is keeping Vesselvana and all of the others here alive? The other spirits, I believe, are bound by their murder, by her. Their rage, their anger, their... Vengeful. Vengeful spirits, indeed. <laughs> As for Vesselvena, I believe that it is her loneliness, her desperation to reach out to this beloved prince that keeps her bound to this place. She is a lonesome figure, a tragedy of sorts. So... You're protecting the world from them? <laughs> I wish. I am not powerful enough to stop Vesselvena. She was a powerful magician in her own right when she was alive. And now, as a spirit, she has other abilities. No, my only hope is to stop fools like you from coming to this place, getting themselves killed. What if there is a way to, uh, for us to finish? I would. That would be a great deed indeed. If that was possible, if there was a way to convince Vesselvena that her research into planar magic was wrong, to, to free her spirit, make her see Siaska's light, I think it might be able to bring her spirit peace. What was the name of her prince? Uh, it is uh, Swift Song, I believe. She spoke of him uh, before she was exiled. She was obsessed. She was in love with him. Is that the man in the painting? Yes, Vesselvena was a painter herself. She was she, an artist. Uh, right. She created paintings using illusionary, ma illusory magic. That were the paintings move on their own, uh, show scenes from her memory. Oh! But the prince, yes, the the elven male is is this Prince Swiftsong, the one she saw in her mirror. Oh, so the world and the landscapes in the paintings are they we princes? Be we believe so. That was the other world that she glimpsed. I see. We're not sure how she got this mirror, whether it was something she created herself or perhaps something she found, but it allows her to view other worlds. My brethren destroyed it when they stopped her ritual. Okay. Um, if you are here because of Siaska's magic, you must have a purpose. That you've yet to fulfill. 
I believe so. I believe it is to try and find some peace, but I can't do it alone. Uh, Vessel Venna will not listen to me. When she sees me, she sends her guardian, uh, an animated construct. She yes, built. I saw that. Um, quite large. It was her bodyguard. She created it when she became paranoid that the Order would try to stop her rituals. It killed many of my brethren when we came to stop her. It killed, like, the top quality paladins of Siaska. Several of us, yes. Yes, it we has, don't stand a chance. There's no point being here. some immunity to certain magics, but... It is also a very competent warrior in its own right. Let's just leave. I think we've got everything. Thank you very much for your time. Good. Um, you should leave this place. Um, before we go, what room did she conduct her ritual in? It's up on the second floor, across the uh, across the uh, the the corridor, the archway. I don't it was her study. I don't suppose she had a book that she was using. He looks at you curiously. She had many books. That's how she learned of planar magic in the first place. They were old copies from the elves who, after your kind, the Ganassi, came to Erois. Many of the high elves, well, they wished to see the return of... Uh, Jasavir. Indeed. And so they began to research planar magic alongside the Ganassi that were rebelled against Siaska. I believe that she managed to locate several of their copies we couldn't destroy them in time before she killed us. Why? He kind of, you see he kind of begins to stand from his kneeling position and a hand goes to a blade at his side. I should warn you, Ganassi. I gave my life to stop Vessel Venna from investigating planar magic. I do not advise that you do the same. There is dark things that await out there beyond the dark beyond. Do not think yourself so clever as to know yourself beyond a goddess does. It's got a lot of swords. Wait a minute. Very good point. The um, Guardian, you said the Guardian doesn't come into this room. It avoids this room, but if, if what it about felt the corridor? that you were here, it would come. <laughs> it could potentially be waiting out there now. No, I mean the corridor beyond where we left Arnold. Perhaps, if he, hear, if he can sense your friend. It cannot sense life beyond a radius. Several thieves have eluded it in the past. Interesting. Can we, can we trick it somehow into believing we're not here? I mean, if it does not sense you after a time, I imagine it will feel that you have gone somewhere else. Right. I mean, Harville's by the front door. He's safe. <laughs> I mean, either way. I don't think we're going to get out there before he comes across Arvel. I'm sure Arvel has some sense and is already outside the gate. Yeah, I imagine he's so. He's terrified. Do you know anything about any old clans, old elven clans? Yes, you do not strike me as a elf from the Sky Cities. No. There were many of your people. They came down from the Sky Cities when I was a young recruit. They formed clans, you called them. Mm. We knew them as uh, tribes. They came down, they rejected the Sky Cities. I did not know many of them, but there were uh, several. Um, I heard reports that a group of them were fighting against Starbane's forces, the Court of Shadows. Yes, there was a group of clans that... I'm trying to find out which one might be where I'm from. Yeah. They were called the Laird de Lan. The Laird de Lan, four tribes and blessed with elemental powers. I remember hearing of them. Vessel Venno was interested for a time. I'm afraid I'm not much of a historian, but she may have collected information about it. Ah, oh, damn, I was hoping that you would know all of it and we could just go away and leave her. I'm afraid that my studies to see Asuka took much of my time. I assume if she sees you, she's going to get really mad. She does not approve of my presence. Her, unde her powers over death do not affect me, but I do not know how well they will fare against you. You are living, after all. I think so. This one's barely, at the moment. Yeah. She becomes enraged when she sees me, when she senses anything that disrupts the illusion of our previous life. Right. So if we pretend that she's still alive? 
That may be a way to keep her calm for a time. But I am too much of a reminder of the ritual that we disrupted. Never do you know much about spookies. Mm-hmm. What? No. Like how they're bound here and why they're here? Why are they here? Why are they here? I don't know. Is, is it like I an mean, object? I, I know as much as like I guess anyone knows in that they are car spirits that died with something still needing to be done. Right. Is... I suspect that Vessel Venna's unfinished business would be the ritual she never completed. Yeah. But I think that I would hope that we, that I could convince her to give up this, this heresy. She died for it. I don't think you're going to convince her otherwise. Then if nothing else, if you are of good hearts, I ask you to destroy her. Better that her spirit be freed that way than this madness enduring. And if we destroy her, the other ones. what happens to you? I will find peace. I think he wants that, don't you? I would very much like to go beyond the cradle, have Kelara take my spirit up to, well, wherever Siaska is now. I assume you can't leave this house. I could, but until my business here is done, I don't see a need to. Okay. In that case, are you willing to assist us? Of course. Could you keep the big scary busy? It will be tricky. It senses life. It does. It right. mostly ignores me, but I may be able to keep its attention for some time. Do you know if it's like a similar construct to myself? No, I know your type, Guardian. Mm. You are blessed with an intelligence, uh, spirit. And this thing follows Vesselvena's orders. It is similar to you. I believe that the magic used to create it was derived from the creation of your people, but it is different. It is not the same. Uh, it is more single-minded. Okay. It has been told to keep intruders away. That is what it will do. Like the stupid little pigs the outside. Mm. Yes, there, were, there was a few of those creatures. There are a few more that linger in the house as well. Oh. You may find oh. them on the other side. Joy, mm. Great. you said you were from before the Sky Cities, correct? Well, I was, well, I was a boy when the sundering happened. We were kept safe uh, on one of on a city that was lifted by Hesper, but I chose to come down here and do my service. So, do you know about my old city, Solvin? I'd heard of Solvin, of course. A city of wonders, uh, technology, carriages that moved on their own, um, weapons of light. Uh, yes, I know of Solvin. Do you know where it could be? I'm looking to try and get back. I'm sorry, but. What I heard after the Sundering was that it had been destroyed. I mean, I was only a boy when it happened. Yeah. I'd heard the legends, but as far as I know, it was lost beneath the waves. Okay. I'm sorry, Guardian. That's okay. One more question. Yes, Ganassi. Meet Vala. And I'm going to point at Vala. She kind of like awkwardly like waves. Greetings, young one. You seem a little young to be traveling with this band. Uh, two of your, um, Brethren, the ones that sucked the life out of us, they seem to recognize her. He looks down. You look familiar, but I could not say I know her or know you. Are you. He just looks at her curiously. You are human? She like nods. I'm not sure how my brethren would have recognized her. I would ask Siaska, but since becoming undead, my. Powers do not function as they once did. Hmm. Hmm. Well, they recognized as much as an undead can recognize things, I imagine. It might have just been a thing that they do. Confused. Yeah. Perhaps. Uh, Their minds are warped and twisted. They no longer see sense. I, they cannot be saved. They can only be destroyed now. She's just got one of those faces. Yeah. Are there that any must be. paintings in this room? In this room, yeah. uh, yes, there is. There's one hanging just to the side of the fireplace. Um, it shows the vessel vein of the princess holding hands with the handsome-looking prince um, <coughs> underneath, like a beautiful kind of like gazebo with that alien background kind of behind them. Does it move at all? Because this one doesn't. No, no. None of the ones you've seen so far have the the, the moving. Movement. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> So what's your recommended plan then? I, 
He looks at you as like, you know, very emotionless, just this full suit of armor. I'm afraid that I do not have one. I know not your capabilities. I only know that I have not been strong enough to, st I cannot stop the Guardian and I cannot stop Vessel then. I would suggest that you take the lead on this if you truly wish to put her spirit to rest. If you do, I can, well, I can either give you my service for a time until my spirit passes on, or you'd be welcome to this armor that has protected me. Is that so? Yes, if you free my spirit, of course. It must be smelly. Perhaps. You've been in it centuries. Nothing a good clean wooden fix, I'm sure. Yeah, he's got to reuse it. It does, stuff. yeah. He smells of dead corpse. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I imagine... But kind of almost like, almost like preserve like a mummy, like that kind of dry, dusty smell. I imagine my detect magic is gone now, but when he first came through the oh, door... Oh, our armor's magical. Yeah, super magical. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so the weapons Blowing. aren't, but the sort the armor is. So it's plate armor that's silent. Yeah. Okay. That's very cool. Yeah. And that would be useful, Sentry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't know what yeah. other properties. It might have other properties yeah. as well. It certainly seemed to protect his spirit, um, so it might have other properties as well. Mm. But yeah, it's uh, and it's full. It's elven in design. It has a fully enclosed helm, so the actual helm is like a full helm with just the visor. Um, but he's augmented it, right? Like he has like straps of leather and you can see that there's like little knives kind of all over it and things like that. Like this guy's a walking armory. He's just got everything. <laughs> what is he? Yeah. yeah. So he's got silent armor, but, but to he... counteract that, he's strapped a whole bunch of weapons to <laughs> himself plank, so that when plank, he walks, plank, he's like, plank, 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 plank. plank. <laughs> he doesn't really need to stay silent. No. Not anymore, yeah. yeah. Awesome. But yeah, he, um, and yeah, to, to, as a visual aesthetic, he looks very Dark Souls, like that classic I, Dark no, Souls nice. boy and stuff. He's I got, was going to say, is yes. there a fireplace with a sword in it? No. A bonfire? <laughs> there, is the, there is the fireplace with the green flame and the yeah. pile of armor and scraps and stuff mm -hmm. that he's got. Nice. Green flame blade. Um, okay. Uh, we could use both uh, your valuable skills as a paladin of the Order of Siaska that My can't name. defeat you should know that my skills as a paladin, I no longer have the divine connection I once did. I'm still a competent swordsman, but I do not have yes, access please. to my holy energy. Anything you can provide. That's all you need. Yes. A good weapon. Just saying, the, the Order of the Paladin of Siaska couldn't defeat this woman. Couldn't and defeat that this garden. ragtag band and its small child is about to face them. Hey, Bala's really good. She's the best of us. I know. It was the she guardian. Says a lot for us. It was I the guardian that eliminated I'm the them. best of you. I appreciate You're the confidence, there. but you're in the top five. I'm good at picking locks, but it's I useful. I guess. I, I think we're going to die. No, but it was the guardian that defeated them. If, if the plan is that we, she's also very the powerful with magic. True, and Plain also magic. a ghost. But yes, it's fine. If we, we can... crashed out of the sky in an airship. We got this, right? We defeated one big We're guardian before in, in uh, that place. Just don't look at Quill's eye right now because I'm trying to pump it up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, if we took a rest for a while, maybe um, maybe we'd be better prepared. What is this place like in the day? The spirits inhabit it uh, remain the same. Oh. They will avoid some of the rooms. Um, most of the curtains have been drawn and block out sunlight. But I know, for example, my brethren cannot stand to be in the sunlight. Hmm. So they can still fight, but they become weakened. So Interesting. interesting. <laughs> but, it, okay, it, uh, is there anything else that is useful to know? How to, if we have to fight this guardian, is there... You mentioned he's immune him. to some magics. Yes, he is. Do you know what kind? I'm afraid I do not. I remember uh, I, have s I saw a thief try to cast some spells at him once, but uh, yes, it is difficult. Well, he did a big light spell. They and tried that to, to be really good. The thief I saw tried to, as the creature is made of metal, they tried to heat it, and it seemed to have no effect. That's all I can tell you. Well, I'm out. <laughs> right. Seems um, to be quite resistant against magic in general. Oh, good. That's my only forte. I would suggest then that you avoid it as best as possible. Right. Okay. I can do that. It can be avoided. Maybe. I can avoid it, and I am not exactly yeah. the quietest. But Maybe you are... we could get you, like, a little dagger. Well, Val's got one of my daggers. Yeah. If you require a sword, 
I would lend you one of mine. I don't know if he's ready for a sword yet. I'm ready for a sword. <laughs> I feel like he looks at you and judges you. Do you have any experience? I fighting? did some fencing with Daddy back in the day. Fencing? When I was five. Ah, yes, I have just the thing for you. And he takes one of the swords as a long, slender rapier. Um, it's been kept in a fairly good condition as best as this guy can in a manor house without a whetstone and you know, so it's things a bit like rusty. that. It's not rusted, but there's definitely like, it's grubby. It's, you know, the, the hilt has kind of the old leather wore away and he's replaced it and things mm. like that. But it's, it's a, a simple elven rapier that he can offer you. Val has been sharpening her, her knives. Yeah. If you have a whetstone, I would greatly appreciate it. And Vela's like, yes, of course, here. And he's like, ah. And he starts sharpening his own stuff. <laughs> and then he'll do your <laughs> We could rest until daylight. I think yeah. if they're weak to sunlight, then that's yeah, something. Yeah, that's the perfect time to Should we maybe it. get Arvel? And he's waiting in the corridor. Maybe we could bring he's him. He's not. In, I, I strongly believe that Arvel has probably left the building. No, but he, he but. might need to know that we're staying here. If you're intending to rest here, be warned that whilst the Guardian sometimes avoids this place, I cannot promise my brethren will not find you here. You don't sleep, right? I do not need sleep. Could you let us know? Of course. If it's coming? Of course. Do you wish to go fetch your other friend? I think we should, because <gasps> otherwise he's going to be out there on his own. Who's the quietest of us? We don't all need to go. <laughs> Valor puts her hand up. <laughs> okay. I am probably the quietest. Um, yes, I guess so. I could try. I'm really not very quiet. Hmm. Nor am I. Valor shrugs. <laughs> Okay, Vala. You okay? You got this. If you guys think I can do it, we'll attack that thing if it touches you. Okay. Wait, hang on. I could just cast message. Oh. I believe you have to see them. Him. No, I can cast it through solid objects if I'm familiar with the target. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What's okay. the range? Okay. Uh, it's 120 feet. Yeah. If if he's by the entry, if he's still in the hallway, it will reach him. So if he's outside, it won't. If he's outside, I think that solved the problem. Okay. Um, so I guess I could he can try to... back, can't he, with that? Yeah. yeah. I can I... this message. Uh, yeah, whisper a message. Yeah. Okay. So what's your whisper? So I'll try to whisper into that corridor where I think he still is. Okay. And I'll just say, <laughs> we found a safe room. We're staying here for the night. We're having a nap, Arvel. Uh, there's a big guy in, in between us. <laughs> you don't get a response. Okay, he's gone. He's outside. He's just gone. Well, how can he respond? He, we, he, he can do one he can, response. Okay, okay. He can respond. Yeah, he yeah. can respond. Yeah. Part of the spell is you can send a response. He's dead. Well, I or he's outside. <laughs> or he's just outside. So is the plan you guys are going to take a long rest here in this room? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then wait until... <laughs> Look at that. I don't like that stone face. Super sunrise, and that's the perfect time to fight them. Okay. I'm so you're going to take a long rest. I'm relatively fresh, so after my four hours of trance-like state, I'll... Uh, take watch. Take yeah, watch. I'll do half of that. Well. Sentry can also do it, and you've okay, got the undead yeah. guy. You've got... Um, yeah. Or, Mega watches. Plenty. Meanwhile, yeah. me and Nova are just you getting rid me. of our... You and me, yeah, buddy. Just falling asleep. Vala will also <laughs> sleep. Fully. Catching Aziz. I'm going to... She needs to sleep for eight hours. Oh, I'll um, just chat to him about all his yeah. knowledge about anything. Okay. If he has any knowledge about plans. Long so, so we doing this? this will be the second night you've rested outside of an inn. Mm -hmm. The only person of you who has a bedroll is Ayla. Mm -hmm. Sentry, you're not going to be affected really as badly. The three of you, how are you going to, like, what are you resting on? Are you going to try and make a makeshift bed? Oh, are you going to try sofas and stuff, right? There's one sofa oh. and an armchair. Uh, I'll take the armchair. She's going to curl or, up the armchair. I can I'll the give armchair. my bed roll to Quill. Okay. So that he can get a good night. Okay. Because he's We're fucking dead. So you, you <laughs> lend Quill to <laughs> so the bed roll. He's dead as me. You'll just sleep on the floor, basically. Sure. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, well, it'll only be four hours okay. for me. And everybody has rations, because you yep. can't yes. forage, so everybody yeah. needs to mark we, we bought a We bought a load, like 10 Sentry, yeah. you don't need to eat. Nope. You're like, warm plate. We don't have any plate. All good. Uh, there is a fire, There's so a at fire. least you can sit. Yeah, warm that. fire. If we can warm your face. You can hold the plate yeah. by the fire for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> hold your hands out. 
Um, okay. Yes. So yeah, mark off rations. Ah, crap. Ration gone. I actually need to mark all of them off. No. Okay, and you're taking it's you're taking a long rest, right? So eight hours. Yes, please. Four okay. of which I'm watching the end. Okay, the so, long rest so you're doing it at the end. Yeah. Who's doing the first four hours, Ayla? Um, do you want to do the first four hours, and I'll do the second with Lucius. Lucius. Yeah. So you two take the first two, and then you and Undead guy take yep. the first one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, do you want to talk to the Undead Sentry? Do, is there anything you want to talk um, about with this with this fellow? So. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. What's like? With Selic. Selic Zostro. <laughs> um. He's kind uh, of like he. he it's hard to tell where he looks, apart yeah. from this visor, he kind of just turns around. Very similar to you in that you just have this flat facial yeah. feature. It's like two blank faces just sitting at the uh, end of a room. Yeah. Like, mm. uh, <laughs> he, he looks at you. Uh, Forgive me, Guardian, but I remember stories of your kind having uh, familiars of a sort. Yeah. Do you not have one? I do. Like point to my belt. <laughs> it's like shattered. Red. Yeah, just yeah. wrapped up in Changed. a chain. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he was um, he was set upon by uh, someone that we fought, and unfortunately, he didn't make it out. Do you have any chance of? Uh, forgive me if you were, can you repair him? Can you restore him to life? Um, I'm not sure. Mm. Um, I'm not because I'm not. I don't know where to go to repair him. I, 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 I guess Solven would be the only place I could go. That that's the only place I know that would have the knowledge to help me, but without solving, I don't know where to turn. It's possible that the Sky Cities or Magisters from there may know. Like I mentioned, Vesselvena herself had studied the magic used to create Guardians, and that allowed her to create the, her own version, this protector. Yeah. Perhaps it's possible that there may be knowledge of that, of a sort, that will help you in fixing your friend. He's not the same as you, I understand. No, he's not, no. Perhaps then that there will be enough magic there for you to restore him. I hope so. Yes. It must be lonely. I can imagine a similar. It's been a long time since I've had anybody brave enough to remain in this place. Yeah. I used to protect a royal family in Solven, or the royal family of Solven. Um, so, without them, I'm unsure of my true purpose. So, until I can get back to Solvin and find out what, what's happened, if I can find any remains or any inkling of where I came from or what happened, then... Mm. Until then, I'll still be unsure of my true purpose. Wow. It's difficult. <laughs> I feel I should not really preach. I am a corpse in a suit of armour, after all. <laughs> But I have spent hundreds of years contemplating my purpose now. It is not always an obvious answer. You seem to be traveling with a good sort. <laughs> <laughs> they seem the type that would benefit from a protector. Yes. I'm sure that if you continue with them, you will find a purpose. Which Thank you or not. Can, can it be canon that Novus thinks like that? A book just it's falls like, out of like, my hand. It's like um, in Hercules, like when Pegasus yeah. goes, when yeah. baby Pegasus. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, can you and Mr. Undead Guy are going to make perception checks? Okie dokie. Dead eyes. See no future. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Well, we'll say. Deep. <laughs> it's actually an arch enemy song. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I rolled. And if I got a natural 20. <laughs> you wasted it! <laughs> That's gone. Can we forever. back that? Yeah. Frank. That's the future yours. I remember that. So many dice. Why? Okay. Don't look at me like that! I oh, hate no, your deadpan no. face! Oh, I'm get... looking for my book of big monsters. Exactly. Dee dee beyond. Genuinely, modern Kynan's Tome of Foes is really great. Such messed up monsters in that. <laughs> so yeah. great. I love it. I love it too, but man, they messed up. That's not what he's getting, is it? Yeah, pretty much. Just looking at it. So, what'd you get on your perception check? Nine. Nine. Mm. Oh, ho, ho. oh, no. Oh. We did. So, 
just as Lucius and Ailey, you guys are beginning to awake, but before you have a chance to really become aware of what's going on, as you're beginning to pull yourselves out of your elven meditations, the room begins to grow cold. Oh, no. Ice uh, cold. No. At first, Sentry, you don't really notice it, you just kind of move closer to the fire, and you see the undead figure kind of just hunched over his weapons and armor. And then you hear this rasping, like the dangling of, like jangling of chains mixed with swords being drawn, scraping metal against metal oh, as the no. air temperature plummets to freezing cold. <sighs> Drifting down through the ceiling itself. Oh. Three spectral elven warriors, green shapes shimmering into being, begin to descend. Oh no. I would like everybody to roll initiative. Um, however, they're getting a surprise round. Oh, oh hey, bonus round! Uh, would that be different for me and Lucius who are kind of half awake? Um, you didn't get alerted. I will say you guys probably will get a... Yeah, you'll get to act normally. Um, same with Sentry and the undead guy. But the rest of you, including Valor, are yeah. uh, 18. out for the first round. 17. Um, I'm guessing our long rest didn't Nine. take. <laughs> nope, not yet. Shit. Um, so, Valor, uh, sorry, uh, if you put down Spectres, um, and they are at 22. Oh. <laughs> and then Valor is at uh, 9. Same as Oh, and the, go the ghoul guy is uh, 21. Oh, fireworks. Selig Zostro. Huh? Selig Zostro, yeah. Tom Selleck. 21. 21 for Selleck. I Selleck. did think Tom Selleck. Thank you. Why did you, why did you <laughs> do this? That whole time. Why, a, that's it. A line moustache across. That's it. It's strength train. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, and you begin to watch as these things begin to draw down. And you are not quite sure what time of day it is. So have we had the long rest? No. no. So I've it still got... It was four hours HP halfway back. through. Okay, let me just put my HP back to what yep, it was. please do. So who's going first, Chris Trot? I've given roll of initiative tracker to Chris Trot. The spectres because I first. keep forgetting it. Because you got the surprise round. They do, um, but it's equal with Kim Nova. Hi, I rolled twenty two as well. But you were asleep. Yes. So this round, you don't get knelt this round. It will basically be the spectres, then Sentry or whoever out of the initiative mm. is those guys plus the ghoul guys. You, Quill, and Valor miss this whole first round of initiative. Cool. So. These creatures begin to descend down, um, and as you kind of see them coming down, you watch as the uh, as Celeric just grabs like one of his uh, swords, probably the largest one, the big great sword, um, and just kind of like, get your friends, you must be careful, do not let them touch you. Uh, and he kind of yeah. readies his weapon. Mm -hmm. But these things just ignore him and immediately come for the living. Um, and they can sense that it's basically the three of you, so one, one, and one. They're gonna attack each nice. of you as they just drift down into the middle of the ring. So against Ayla, that is a 21 to hit. Mm -hmm. uh, Lucius, that is a 12 to hit. Woo! Yes, it hits 12. Uh, Still hits. Really? I got 12. Yeah, yep, okay. And then Sentry, uh, that is an 11 to hit. No. Okay, so, do, 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 do. Ayla, you're gonna take, oh, great. Oh, oh no. Oh, really bad, I rolled crazy <laughs> That's gonna be 16 points of damage, and can yeah. you make a constitution Fuck saving me. throw, please? Uh. On save. Um. We're at 11,000 viewers. What? Yeah. Mm. That's not possible. Hiya. It is. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> we about to hit some ghouls. <laughs> We're about to die. Fail. That's a fail. Really? So my, yeah. That is, uh, is yeah, so hit point maximum. I'm like, I'm at half power. What did you oh. roll? A, four, a fucking four. Mm. Like Plus, what's your bonus though? For a constitution? Saving throw, yeah. So it'll be only eight. Oh, fuck. Yeah, no. Yeah. Not much better for Lucius. Twelve. Oh. And constitution saving throw, please. I have just rolled a lot of sixes on D6s. Oh, so my no. max hit points is what now. Reduced what by is? 16, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fifteen. Scary things. Fifteen. You do not have your hit points reduced, maximum. <laughs> so you're you take twelve damage, necrotic damage, That's but you don't get your thing, thing reduced. Delicious. I feel like ring wraiths and stabbing the pillows of the hobbits. <sighs> yeah. Scene. So they kind of like drift yeah. down, <laughs> and they draw their weapons. But as the weapons pass through you, 
it feels like there's no physical wound, they don't cut you, but it just feels like your life blood is just being drawn out of you. Your body goes cold. That area where if they strike you turns icy numb. Ayla, you just, energy and life just get sucked out of you Oh man, that sucks so bad. Sentry, they go to strike you, and even though they're spectral, you raise up the Solvin shield, you focus for a minute, and this kind of pulse of that protective energy that you harness just manages to rebuff it as if it was a normal weapon. You just nice. manage to and block it away. Yes. Who's after the Spectres, Chris Drop? Number is it two, Sentry? it is the ghoul. Um, it's, uh, if, uh, oh, if we're so, going yeah, back around. So the ghoul. Uh, so, they no, so it's it normal shield. initiative, but just don't count Nova Quill or Valor just it's yet. The, oh, no. It's the Spectre. Okay, so he charges in. Um, with his great sword, and he's going to take two oh. swings at. He probably sees you get necroed, and so he's going to come after that one because he can see the you like turning pale grey. Dying. Um, okay, his but first attack there. is a miss. <laughs> oh, but good. he gets a second attack, which is a hit. Um, he strikes through. Uh, however, not as much damage as he would have liked. So he doesn't kill. So you watch as the great sword yeah. swings through, and the sword itself doesn't seem seem to have any magical properties. So whilst it cuts into the spectre, again you see it kind of the blade is resisted and the wound doesn't yeah. seem to be as, as severe as it should be. Who's next? Rhiannon's next. Okay. Hello. Sentry. I would like to divine smite one of these guys in the face. <laughs> okay. Please. So you divine smite. If you hit, then you can spend it. Yeah, and, and then it's an extra D8 as well yeah. against. So roll to hit first. One to hit first. One round. Did we have enough? Nineteen. Plus your normal bonus, normal yeah, that's going to be a Did hit. Did have enough rest to have a short rest? You were taking a long rest. You, you either take a short rest or a long okay. rest. Uh, I think that's how it works. We'll clarify that in the break. Again, so uh, it should be under your actions. So you might need to switch to action. Come here. I feel like such an old person. No, it's fine. You've not played for a while, so. So 19 plus your attack bonus for uh, your battle axe. Uh, so attack plus five. Bonus. Okay, so that's 24, 24. easily hits. Cool. So you do damage. So nice. your normal damage is 1d8 plus three, but you wanted to Divine Smite as well, divine right? Divine Smite, please. So that adds mm -hmm. another d8, because you're going to burn a spell slot. Yep. But because they're undead, you add another d8 another on top of that. Nice. And, it's, uh, and it's radiant damage, the second amount of damage. Tasty. So. Anyone got a spell? Sentry oh, no, the I've got dead another d8. killer. Right. So if you oh, can roll the you. first d8 plus three for me, because they are resistant to that. Okay. And then we'll do the radiant damage. Four. Plus uh, your seven. So seven, so I'll take three. Uh, and then another three. And then another two D eight. Yeah. Two, six, so that's plus three, five, seven, twelve. Nice. Is that in total? Yes, 12 in okay. total. Okay, so the, the battle axe itself cuts into the creature, into this wraith, and you can see the blade itself just kind of passes through it. But then you focus that purple energy again that pulses, and this radiant burning light just kind of erupts out of it. And you can see it begins burning parts of it away. Awesome. As it just begins snarling and howling, and then just desperately turns on you as you can see these cold, dead eyes. Oh. Just shivering out. Who's after the sentry? So it's Unless sentry has something you can do as a bonus action. Uh, let me see. I don't think, I think Divine Smite is an yeah. action. Yeah. It would be Ayla. So, I would so like to rage, please. So you rage, well, thunder and lightning begins to crackle oh, around mad. your arms. She weak, but she mad. Natural 20! Nice. Wow! Nice. Nice. No, it makes me bleed So double blood. damage, <laughs> double the dice damage. <laughs> what? That's not what I imagined happened there. <laughs> oh, no, that's pretty bad. Okay, so four, five, six, No one seven, drinks my life eight. energy but me. <laughs> <laughs> 10, because I'm raging, so 10 damage. Yep, um, so and halved. then you need to make a dexterity saving throw from my lightning. Uh, 15. Ooh. That's a pass, so but half. Half. What were they resistant uh, to? So one I damage. three, so. One more damage. It's one damage so again. Watch, <laughs> <it was half laughs> but that's only because they have to. Only that. because I have to, yeah. Well, I know, but still. But so still lightning really crackles much. out from the Warhammer, slams into this thing. Again, the Warhammer seems to absorb some of the blow, but the lightning crackles over it. And the lightning does seem to, uh, does seem to, oh no, it has resistance to lightning as well. Of course it does. But it still takes one. It takes one It's fine, it takes half. It's one never going to ever do more than one damage. So who's after Ayla? One day. <laughs> so Rage, lightning, yeah. who's after Ayla? It is... Wait, can um, I, wait. All of us, so. So Quill and that are Quill, asleep, so it's you. Quill, basically. Valor and me are yeah. all the same. So it's you, and then it's a brand new round. And then you guys basically, you're waking up as you begin to hear these howls and screams. <laughs> <laughs> 
Can what? I just quickly look yes. and see, are there curtains in this room that are... There are not. So this room seems to be in the very middle oh, of yeah. the house. Oh, good. Okay. Um, no but you know that you can run out. There are there were windows like in the study, uh, in that that room, for example. So if There's you want to try and lure them away... big old good. animated construct wandering yeah. around. Yeah, maybe. Why don't we get him in here? Yeah, sure. Party. I'm going to back up as much as I can. Okay, so you're going to press yourself up against the thing. This, this creature is font like it looks like it can just follow after you. Blade ward myself. Okay. So that's your action. That's my action. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. No. I'm, I'm not going to tell you if that's what Lucius is going to do. That's what Lucius is going to do. Uh, so we go back up to the very top. Everybody is now awake. Valor, Quill, Lucius, uh, sorry, uh, Nova. Uh, you guys wake up and you can see three more of these specters. Ayla looks very, like, grey-faced. You can see the same haunted look, like, kind of her eyes look appear sunken. Sentry's, like, angry. holding one off, like, smacking it about with divine light. Lucius has backed himself up, and one of them is just trailing after him, like... <gasps> um, and, yeah, Stop it. it's going to be another attack Stop to it. each of you guys. Oh, fantastic. Bring it on. So, Ayla, that is a 12 to hit you. No. Why not to get go first? Because I'm, like, 20. No, it was the not. surprise round. You missed, like, you basically, they got the surprise round. These guys are awake. You guys this are asleep. Cool, so this is a brand new turn. So brand new turn, they got the same initiative. initiative. Oh, so. okay. What's your dex mod? Uh, plus three. Oh, in case Wait. it's you. Yeah, plus yep. three. So in that case, it's you. Okay. That did, did not hit me, though. Yeah, we'll keep that, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> did, I, did I see them um, take the normal amount of damage from like me melee weapons, like non-magical weapons? I, I'm, uh, I mean, yeah, you, you base it on what you remember as yeah. a character. I realised as I said that that was a load of bollocks for me to just save from my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do? Can I Eldritch Blast the one that um, Sentry, Sentry was fighting? Yeah, sure. So you, you pull out Dagger Tiangong, point him as this beam of light. Uh, 11 to hit. 11 does not hit. This thing kind of swifts, the mist of its body kind of coalesces, forms the side as the blast. Kareen's path smashes into a part of the wooden wall. I don't think I could do anything else. Okay, so now it's there, guys. Can I back away, though? So yeah, so you just back up into a corner of the room. So, yeah, at the moment, like, without a map, think of it as, like, quite a long room. It's quite a long, like, maybe, like, 60 feet long, and then it's about 20, 30 feet wide. Um, there's all sorts of scattered furniture. Lucius is backed up near the door. You've backed up into a far corner, like let's say the, the right-hand corner. Mm -hmm. um, Ayla and Sentry um, and the rest of you are still clumped in the middle, basically, where you were taking a rest. Um, so the first one misses Ayla. Lucius, this one chases after you. Please. That's a six to hit. Nope. And then Sentry, that is a ten to hit. Nope. So you begin like sensing the, the absolute fear of this touch. You begin like putting on the defensive, like dodging to the side, nice. just making sure these weapons can't touch you as you begin fending them off. Who's after them? Uh, Spectre Man. Cedric? Selick? Ced Selick. Tom Selick. He rolled a natural one on his first attack. Oh. He's really great. So he's swinging, but you can see that like the creatures almost seem to know his fighting style and they're easily able to anticipate what he's doing. The second attack, however, does hit again. Um, he's still fighting the one fighting Ayla. Uh, that's going to be 9, 13, half to 2, Six. Six. It's got um, a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, so he swings through with this great sword, again cleaving through and trying to distract them, but they're just ignoring him. Yeah. They don't pay him any attention whatsoever. Fine. After <laughs> him, Sentry. Sentry. Cool, I'll just give him a good old fashioned smack. Okay, <laughs> so just get the battle axe. Get yep. the battle axe. Attack roll. Attack roll. That's a whacken. That's Ooh. a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> Not a whacken. So, that's a six. Yeah, yeah. you swing wide, but this time it kind of senses, and now it's yeah. afraid of this like, holy light that you're able to bear, mm. and it just backs off immediately, and you just swipe, goes wide, as cool. you swing the axe through the air. Can I hold my shield up and like get ready? Yeah, do you want to try and position yourself next to somebody, or? Yeah, maybe like next to Ayla. Okay, so you're going to move up towards Ayla, yeah. and you're going to get ready so you can uh, disadvantage. Yeah. Okay, great. Who's after Sentry? Uh, that would be Ayla. Hopefully. Please. Oh, no, that's not a hit. That's not really a 10. Me know. 10 is not enough, sadly. So, yeah. so this thing, it brings its spectral Damn sword. It. As you bring in another heavy swipe, it just kind of and blocks you, um, sending you staggering back. Does it still, my, does my aura still, because it's still in my aura, right? Yeah, yeah, you can, so, uh, you can use a bonus action, I believe, to zap it. So. Yeah. So uh, that is a 13 deck save. Uh, just succeeded. Damn it. So, that's a one. So one. <laughs> One day we'll do more than one. Uh, it's a little zap of lightning. It's like a little, little lightning shot. Yeah. 
fuck you. <laughs> it's because she's low power. Okay, she Me, <laughs> Quill, and Valor. Yeah. Okay, so uh, so who's got? So I think Valor has the got, highest Dex mod out of all two. of you. Yeah, Valor's got higher than plus two. Uh, I've got plus two. Okay, so and then between the two of you, I'd say you so go first because you're awake first. It'll be Valor first. So Valor, then. you, then Quill. Uh, Valor will. She knows that these things don't like. She's seen like the fighting and works out that that's probably not going to work. She will try a magic missile against the one uh, fighting Ayla, because she saw that you got the... Because everyone's like, oh shit, she, she's well, scared. But it's also, they see, like the yeah. life has literally been sucked out of you and they know how bad that is. So she will magic missile this one, uh, first level. So that's four, uh, six, plus three, nine. And these missiles slam into these specters mm. and they just tear chunks of it away. It nice. seems to have a full effect. MVP, um, Valor! MVP! Which actually, will oh the one fighting you, the last missile hits and it just. Yay! Awesome. MVP! Um, but you can see Valor kind of holds her thing back. He's like, she just says, I can only do that one more time! And she kind of goes into a defensive position. Doesn't have that many level one spells, Lucius? No, she doesn't. <laughs> I will cast a spell on well, the done. Spectre in which front one? of me. The one in front of me. Yep. What spell? I'm going to cast. <laughs> what was that? Uh, Melf Snow. Fuck off. Chromatic <laughs> Orb at second level. What's that? Chromatic, chromatic orb. orb, second level. So I believe in an attack roll for Chromatic Orb. I'll do it with cold damage. Okay. So attack roll for Chromatic Orb. <laughs> uh, you never hit with this spell. It's crazy. Uh, Total? Oh, I was like, eight, no, nine, sorry. Nine, not enough. You kind of, <laughs> in a pie, you throw the orb, this cold, bolt of cold flies forward, smashes against an armchair, just covering it in ice, but the creature just... <sighs> he likes you. Looms mm. forward. However, you cast a first level or higher spell that dealt cold damage. So with your dichromancy, um, you can choose one to take, I think, six points of cold damage? Yes, it is six. And which one would you like to take it? The one uh, fighting you? Yes. Okay. So that's the first time that one gets hit. The cold does seem to not slow it down. It kind of, the gold again, it freezes parts of it, but it just kind of slides through. Does it look through. resistant? It looks resistant. Uh, Quill. Uh, okay, I'm gonna... Oh, Quill. ...wake up and uh, <gasps> go to just a far point of the room, I suppose. So you go into the far left-hand side, which is further from everything else. It splits everything up. It makes it easier yep. to fight them individually. And I will cast a level one guiding bolt. Okay. At the one fighting Lucian. Which is the one uh, Zostra is fighting? What's the one Zostra? Uh, he fighting? was fighting the one fighting That Ayla. one's gone now. Okay. That one's gone. I'll so it's just the one's fighting Sentry and the one's fighting Lucius. The one fighting Lucius. Okay. I will cast a level one guiding bolt at. So. Nice. Nine. So guided. <laughs> we keep all in fours. Like, uh, they went in in fours. your kind of dazed sleep. You throw the guiding bolt out, but it just slams into the, the wooden paneling Damn behind it. you, spreading out this, this this blast of light around it. It looks nice. Does though. it still have an effect, even if it doesn't hit the advantage on the next attack roll? Uh, or is that only on a hit? On a hit, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah okay. 4 right. 6 damage. And Who's after Quill? Um, oh, could I, could I swing a shield? Oh, you want to conjure the, the spectral yeah. shield? Yeah, so you, you focus on the ring, and as a bonus action, you this spectral kind of shield hovers Swing. in place around you Swing. and gives you plus two to AC. Awesome. So it's Nova. Nice. Uh, top of round. Nova, the top of round, yeah. We'll try and get through this, then we'll take a break. We'll get can through I this combat. Can I cast Toll the Dead on the spectre that's attacking Lucius? Yes. Dong. So can you please make me a wisdom saving throw? Dong. 13. Natural 20. <laughs> You joking. still take oh damage God. though, right? Uh, it does, if it doesn't say... You point to the creature you see within range and the sound of a dolorous bell fills the air around it for a moment. You must succeed or take. Yeah, normally cantrips, it's just... If it passes, it passes. Dong. Is that just... Okay. So you try and ring this... You know, you, you get Tiangong in your hands, you ring him like a bell. Dong. And the, the pulse kind of echoes out, but the creature just shudders for a moment. And then it turns on you. Um, I'm so squishy. After Nova, it's the Spectres go, I believe. Yep. Correct. So, uh, all three of them. Wait, two, two of them. left. Two left. Two left. I'm trying to think if it would go after. Does it have enough movement? I'm pretty tucked into this it, corner. It would just attack Lucius. Um, <laughs> I'm so in this one, corner. One on Lucius, one on Sentry. Oh. Lucius, that's an 18 to hit you. Yep. 
sentry. Oh, so That's a 10 to hit you. No way. So you won protecting Lucius, you were moved over to Ada, yeah. so... Oh shit. What's that oh, con no. saving throw? Eight. I also got seven HP left. Oh my god, is that it? Is that a legit... Let's take a break. <laughs> what? Oh, no! <laughs> I think we have to take a break. Amazing. Oh shit. What's, what's yeah, up? We'll that's see you in a minute. Yeah. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Steve, if we can go to a break. Oh fuck. Oh.
Hello. Welcome back to High Rollers. After our little short break there for some ads. Welcome to all of you that are joining us from the Twitch front page. Hi. Welcome. What an episode to join us from. I know. Hi. So, let me set the scene. Time slows for a second as we see this combat inside this old manor's great room with this green fire uh, illuminating the, and casting it all in a sickly glow from this fireplace. Most of you are doing battle. You can see spells launching from either side of the room, blades clashing against these uh, elven spirits. One of them reaches out to Lucius. You raise your arms to try and fend him off as its hand just plunges into your chest. You know the worst thing? I was going, no, no, no. You go, and then as you <laughs> say it, you feel this coldness grip your heart. You can't breathe. Everything seems to slow and turn gray as this vestige of life is just sucked out of you. But there's just enough. You fall unconscious, but a tiny part of you keeps its spirit. Because you're only reduced, your hit point maximum is four. It didn't reduce you to zero. So you're not dead just yet. Daddy's genes. Oh. However. Oh, it's so close. However. Jesus. He has four hit points max. Um, I rolled to hit you, didn't I? I missed. Yep. So, who is next on the initiative? Sentry, I think. Sentry? <laughs> yes. Sentry. Let's get rid of these as quick as possible, please. Okay. Battle axe, smack in the face. Okay. Do we need to do injury? Uh, we will do that, yes. Oh. Uh, oh, let's, oh. let's breathe. <laughs> well, I think there's no physical, it's not physically hurting him. Okay. So whilst, yes, in theory, technically, there should be an injury roll, none of the injuries will make sense. Just but maybe I'll talk to Chris Trot and we'll have some cool RP stuff. Yeah. I have no PTSD. soul anymore. Well, like, you know, like, you literally almost got killed by a ghost and turned into a ghost. So that probably should definitely be I mean, skin. we yeah. still have two ghosts to fight, so who yeah, knows where knows. this yeah. is going to yeah. end? <laughs> so, Sentry, make an attack roll. Yes, please. Oh, 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 nine. Nine. <laughs> so you see four. this happen to Lucius and you're distracted as you swing the axe. You, at the last minute, you yeah. kind of turn and see him go down and the axe just swings wide. Um, cool. Can I in a, get in a protective position next to this dude? So you move up. It will. That means this thing will get a free swipe at you. That is fine. Okay. That's a 19 to hit you. Yes. Oh, just. That is just. Oh, yeah. God, my dice rolls for these no, damage stop. rolls. Oh my god! No, <laughs> you, have... uh, you take seventeen and can you make oh a Constitution save? Oh shit! Okay. That's the half. Constitution yeah. save. Constitution save. Uh, constitution save bah, 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 I want to go higher. I know. Let me go over here. Constitution Con save. Plus two. Oh. Your hit point me maximum is reduced by seventeen. Oh my oh, god! Christ. We're all we're all so, so uh, drained. HP. Um, change to 10 HP. Okay, yeah. 17. No, it's me next. Yeah, well, no, Sentry, so Sentry does move over and no. gets over Lucius. Added. As, as, it, as it swipes oh, yeah. Sentry, yeah. you can Max. see uh, while she's right. made of metal and, and wood, as this blade passes through, That's the, the purple right glow one. in her eyes and chest diminishes. You watch as it physically, the light in her, her core just diminishes, and you almost feel like something from you has been taken, but you're not quite sure what. But you get in front of Lucius and you bring up the shield. Um, so if anything attacks him, you can use your reaction to give disadvantage. Um, oh, who's off the sentry? Oh dear. That would be you didn't, you didn't attack. I missed. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, you missed. She missed. No, it's me after yep. sentry. Um, so I was, the one that was fighting me is not there anymore. No, but there's the one but that was one fighting that was sentry, sentry, which was next to you, yeah. Okay, I'll... So you can turn I'll, on that one. Yeah, seeing Sentry... And it looks it like it's going to chase after Sentry. You can see it like... I'll... Oh. I'll smack that one. Then. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. 19 to hit? Hits, yeah. Hits. Nice. Go on, Ayla. Oh my god, I rolled a freaking one. Um, one, so... Five, six, seven damage with the hammer and Three the save. Three, Fuck. That was oh, yep, I make a save. Natural 20. Oh. Stop that! Oh my oh. god! Stop it! <laughs> it was one anyway. One point of damage! Fuck this. Lightning crackles out from the <laughs> hammer. Does it? Just catch it. Does it crackle out? Yep. Who's after it? <laughs> um, so it's me. Oh, Valor first. Valor first. Seeing Lucius go down in that way, uh, Valor will... She's got Magic Missile. I'm trying to remember what spell she has. I don't have Save us, Valor. Don't Magic Missile me. Oh, no. <laughs> Turn undead? Oh, she can't tell <laughs> Um, 
Yeah, I think she just cast another magic missile at the one directly over Lucius. Oh, please. So she just like please. holds her hand out and you watch as this purple energy coalesces. She probably uh, looks, she's just like, get away from him! And screams out. Uh, five, eight, 11 points. That's a good whacking for magic missile. Uh, that's a whacking. Um, that's a good whacking. again, that last bit of energy dissipates the one over oh, Lucius. Yeah. Okay. Still one. Force damage, man. Like they're not resistant to it. So. We can do this. That's a big we can do this. Difference. So this last one. Oh no, sorry. It, it wouldn't have killed that one because that was uh, the one that's yeah, taken shit. centuries damage. So it's still alive. Damn what did it. I say? Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. yeah. So then it's me. no, sorry. Yeah, I was adding that to the one Sentry had been damaging, not the uh, other one. So you watch as these mi these missiles pummel into its body. You know where the the energy hits, it kind of almost burns away little parts of the ghost, um, but it still leaves this haunting form and it turns its eyes on Valor, um, and now it seems to be moving towards her. Um, after Valor, it's you. Death saving throw, please, friend. That's a fail. One death saving fail. Quill. Okay, um, so... Mm, mm, I will do... I will also do a magic missile at level two on the one standing over... Lucius. Lucius. Okay. So um, no roll to hit, just straight up 4d4 plus 4. Just a lot of d4s. Give him your d4s! Need more? Bless him. Like Goku with a spirit bomb! <laughs> I... Give me your energy! I... Give me your d4s! <laughs> 4, 7... <laughs> I'm not using that one again. Um, 7... 9... 13. 13 Marjorie. points to the one over Lucius? Yeah. That magic missile does this oh, make. Good. So Quill, you, what does it look like? It's like feathers, right? Yeah, like, so it's four like, feathers <laughs> float up and then... <laughs> these four golden uh, pristine feathers, bam, 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 slam yeah. into the specter and it just crumbles it away into nothing as oh. it dissipates. Oh, beautiful. The, the remaining through. one that was chasing after Sentry uh, seems to kind of look around. Well, let's see, you've used something which hurt them, Valor used something which has hurt them. You've used something that's hurt them. I also did a massive light spell as well. Yeah. I missed every time. Yeah. Okay. So the one that was <laughs> kind of chasing after Sentry tracks these golden feathers towards Quill no. and... No. 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 Oh, you. Who's after Quill? It's top around, so it's no Nova. Nova. Uh, Hi, Nova. She'll go. I want to go home. <laughs> yeah, just leave. I miss my mom. Door, door's right there. There's a guardian standing outside of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. Be with the nice guardian. Yeah. What are you doing? Nice I need an answer. <laughs> or are you delaying? Can I Eldritch Blast? Yeah, sure. Make, a, make your attack. Okay. Blast him. Blast him. Whack him. 13. Just hit no! it. <gasps> yeah, Hits yeah. it from behind. I did a hit, Dad. Uh. Nice. That's one. That's one. <laughs> Just one damage? Oh, wait. Yeah, zero, zero, zero. So it just barely, barely grazes this spectre as it kind of turns last minute towards Quill and you just catch it on its arm as then the spectre... Oh God, this is... It, as it moves up to you... You've got your barrier ring. It probably looks at you and it will probably be like... Esper. Oh, cool. 18 to hit. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, no. His, his hit points are very, very low. Yeah. That's the lowest damage I've rolled, but it's still nine. Oh, I'm oh. downed. Do I have to make con a save as well? saving throw. But... Oh, my God, a con save. That's seven. Your maximum hit points are reduced by nine. I've got three H three maximum HP. Can you use your and shield he's I thought he was. I, I thought it was zero. That's what I thought. <laughs> This attack is so OP! Yeah, spectres, man. Um, these, these are scary So the healer's monsters. gone now. Yeah. Well, the healer can't do anything anyway because... The like, healer wasn't healing, so... Well, but they're max HP. Yeah. I've got four. Yeah, exactly. but he's unconscious. He could still have four. I know, but Off what I'm saying is... Yeah. Uh, it is the... Mr. Oh, wait, man. Yeah. Mr. Ghoul. Uh, he she glances around. He sees the two of you down. Uh, he just looks over... Uh, Get your friends. I will try and keep it distracted as long as I can. You guys have got the potions. I don't have. I can, I can do something. Like There's one on my body. There's one on my body. Right. His first attack hits. He rolls 8, 12, which is half. Oh, he did a hit. Uh, you watch as the strike cuts through the creature. 
um, severing parts of its body, but just enough of its life force is remaining and it's reaching down towards Quill. Oh, better not. Bonus action attack is a hit. Oh, nice. Thank you. Five, nine is enough. Oh. Oh. So oh. as he, you watch as the, the final blow, I love it when NPCs get final blows, it's really great. It's such a cool thing. <laughs> uh, Literally every like, single one of them. No, we need this right now, we need this. Yeah. Let us but have he, this. He just brings this great sword and slams it down into the remnants of this spectre. <sighs> and as he, as he hits it, he's like, goodbye, brother. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, can I spare the dying? It's still initiative, because there's death saving throws Sentry. to be made. Sentry, what are you doing? Um, one is on one side of the room, the other is on the other side, and it's 60 feet between the two points. Mm. And you are over by Lucius. Lucius. I'm in the middle of the room, though. You're in the middle, you're in the middle, Val is in the middle. Okay. Sentry, you are next to Lucius on Wasn't one side I of the room. in a corner? Oh yeah, you did, you backed up into a corner. So which one? Uh, probably the one nearest Quill. Okay. Is that all the, all the guys dead? Yeah. Oh no, sorry, Lucius is by the door. I said specifically he moved by the door. You're on the very far side of the room, so you're furthest from Quill. But Lucius is in the middle and Sentry's in the middle on all of those guys. So you're next. What are you doing? You're next to Lucius. Uh, I don't know. Um, you got any he's just left? unconscious. Just, he's unconscious. Yes. He's unco he is bleeding to death. Okay, yeah. let me his, see what I've got. Necrotic wounds are slowly probably. It's probably left bleeding, but you can see that where the the blade hit him, maybe his flesh is slowly okay. graying. You know, graying as it I, goes. I'll cure wounds on Lucius. Okay, so D8, D8 plus two. Sure. There you go. It's gonna be four. Yeah, Six. that's his so That's four. <laughs> <laughs> You're not dying, kid. But you feel yeah. this faint, brief moment of light, kind of, <sighs> as it fills you. Thank you. After century. I got you. Who's going with it? It's um, Ayla. 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 So you're in the middle of the room. Can I go over You can to get Quill. over to Quill. Yep, get to Quill's body. Can Move I... action. That's one of my spell slots. Can I take his potion out and give it to him? Yes. He has one uh, yes, because you have an action remaining. Normally it's a, it's an action to feed somebody else a potion. Uh, yeah, so you get up, you find the potion on his body, and pull out the, the little cork stopper and guzzle it down his beak. Uh, guzzle it down his little beak. <laughs> Don't need a Seven hit me. points. Seven HP. Well, Three. what's your maximum? Three. Three. Yeah. <laughs> Three, there you go. Um, as, yeah. Three out so of no three. more death saving throws needed. We can jump out of initiative. Um, the 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 elf in the stressful. armor, the ghoul in the armor. I told you you should leave. There's only death in this place. Uh, okay. Very close. Are there any more of those things? How many are, are there? We already did fight two of your brethren. How many are left? See, he looks. If you have slain two, in these three, there is only two remaining. <laughs> but they are on the other side. <laughs> Do they ever come over here? I have not seen them. They haunt the study where the ritual took place. Oh, the place we may <laughs> we may be able to rest for the night and, and, and just try and heal up. I'm trying not to cry here. Don't do that again. I no. feel very strange and weak. Is the guardian yeah. still here? Possibly. How long how long were we? Yeah, how long did we get for? rest before? Four hours. Okay, so there's one we were waking up, so that's yeah. halfway through. So we could yeah. could just leave and rest outside. <laughs> if we're worried about that. Why must you why why are you so intent on Vessel Manor's secrets? I'm not. I'm I I'd like to leave. I'll be honest. I'm not anymore. Halo, are you still sure this is a win 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 lose situation? Cause This is, this such is the a only high cost. It's the only place that I know that will be able to tell me anything about where I came from. And if you don't want to stay, then that's fine. But regardless of what we want to do, we need to rest. All, yes. of, them, all of us have been touched. We do need to rest, but this is that I, I need to continue. If you need to leave, then so be it. Can we rest here for now? Do you think it will be safe here? I know where in this house is safe. I don't think I can recover so quickly. I feel like my life has literally been taken from me. You can see that whilst most of you, you still have this kind of like pale skin, but Lucius is deathly white. Mm. You know, it's nearly almost like pitch white skin, especially around his chest. 
you can see, you know, where this creature's touched him, like where his shirt is open, just white flesh, like marble. Lucky that I've got feathers, so. I look fine. White feathers. Just, probably the colours drained out. Just like <laughs> swaying a lot. <laughs> you need to leave this place, come back if you are so intent on the information here. But I do not. Whilst my brethren may not come over this way, their spirits linger near the ritual site. I said the Guardian avoided this room. Not entirely. And there are other things here anyway. Yeah, that fight was tough, and it was only three of them. Yes. There's two more, and... Whatever she my is, and what she is. is Vessel, if Vessel Vena finds you. She's the most powerful, is she not? She is. I can't She still this. commands some of the magical power she had in life, yes. plus the abilities that undeath have given her. So she can do that to us. Yeah. We don't have much left. Ayla, it's too high a cost right now. Fine, we'll leave. But I will come back here alone. We can come back when I have some color in my skin. I'll do it Deathly myself player. next time. It's not worth anyone else. There's, there's no game for you. There's almost only certain me. death on your own. Vessel Vayner might know about creating guardians and knowing more secrets about people like myself. I might be able to learn from her as well. She That's does no have. Why we can't come back again. She does have knowledge from me and my people too. But right now, look at Lucius. Look at Quill. Maybe Gold Throne will have more answers. Yes. Yeah. Daddy probably will. He has a big library. What do you guys want to do? Contacts, you know. Networked. You can't search if you're dead, Ayla. No. Let's push on to Gold Throne. We need to make sure that Val is safe. She shouldn't be here, and she's luckily not harmed this time. We shouldn't be here. <laughs> Thank you, Ayla. I know this is difficult, especially, you know, you're not, you want to know where you came from, you want to know about your home. Hey, we're both lost now. It's fine. We're all lost, I think. <laughs> Let's, uh, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. Let's get there alive. Up, <laughs> up. I'm going to pick Lucius up. Up. <laughs> I feel a little bit sorry for you. Him. Pick him up. Just carry him out. <laughs> so you guys are going to try and basically make your way out into the outside? Yeah. I think so. You're yeah. going to head back from where you, the way you came. I guess we'll say a nice okay. goodbye to Selleck. He just, he just, he just watches you, nods his head. I understand. I warned you that this place was dangerous. I will, I'm sure that another will come by that will help me free this event. You've rested some of your brethren, that at is, least. That is a great service you have done. I'm sorry that I cannot help you further. If you happen to speak to her. I can try. If, if you find out anything about the clans, then it would if you return, I will be glad to give it to you. This tartan, specifically, is all That's I have? It. Nods. If I find anything and you return, I will tell you. Thank you. And thank you for your help. I will do the best I can. <laughs> if you wish to return, <laughs> when you are gathered some strength, I do not believe her spirit is going anywhere. I'm sure we'll be back. Just nods his head. Being dead really sucks. And you've had it for centuries. I'm so close. A few to... centuries more won't hurt me. Goodbye. And then he just turns back to his weapons. Um, Valo puts the wet stain and just leaves. He picks Aww. it up and shh, you just hear this. As you're kind of leaving the room, you just hear this shh, shing, shh, shing, coming from it behind. When you move out into the corridor, you don't see any sign of the big heavy guardian's footsteps. Good. Okay. I'm going to be a very fair dungeon master. Can we leave as quickly as possible? You can. Again? However, Sprint. there were four hours. I need to make some quick rolls. That's my notes oh, no. on stuff. If that picks, he gives us trouble on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're leaving, I guess, so. Just like securing the thing again. Okay. I think my spine got back. No. We need to come back. We've lost so much. <laughs> this place. So much has been taken from us. Got a ring though. Yeah. Oh no. He's making a oh, face. No, no, no. Bad things are happening. No. 
As you make your way out into oh, the no. corridor, you feel like you're being watched. You begin heading towards the doorway leading out of the hall and stood at the top of the stairs is a woman in white. Oh. Okay, keep, 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 keep moving, keep moving. TPK. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, she, you kind of clock her. Yeah, if you, if you, are you just gonna break into a run or are you gonna, <laughs> what do you always wanna do? Cause she sees you. Um, Give me a quick marching order. Who would have left the room? Like, just give me a, a base marching order. I mean, I feel like I'm naturally very slow right now. Okay, or so but like just you're from the back. Like, yeah, okay. I guess. Okay, okay. Probably the same as the four. Right? Okay, <laughs> so Lucius know, basically like, at the back, and then, yeah. uh, so Ayla Sentry. Well, I'll help Lucius. Like, okay, I'll... so you're near the back with Lucius and Valor. Yeah. Okay, so Quill, you're the, you're the one who sees her. Like, uh, Ayla, sorry, you're the one who, you step out, and as you begin making your way, you kind of, slow glance over as you just see this woman in a long, kind of puffy, elegant princess gown, effectively. Long sleeves, long white hair, semi-translucent, as she looks over and kind of clocks eyes with you and looks at you curiously. You're not one of my usual servants. Who are you? And you all hear this voice, this chilling, haunting oh. voice. No, 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 no. Someone searching for n- knowledge. You're a student. Have you come from one of the cities to learn my knowledge? And she glides. You see that her feet don't actually touch the ground. She has no feet. She just drifts down the stairs towards you. I have many things I could teach you. They sent me here away because they feared what I knew. What have you come to learn? And as she gets closer, the temperature just drops. Just about my, my, um, about some clans. Clans? I don't know clans. What? The, ah, do you refer to the... The Laird of Lan? Yes. Yes, the elves who came down from the cities. What funny people. <laughs> Why would they give up such a wonderful life? Why would they choose to be prisoned down here in the dirt like I have been exiled? Yes, I've studied a little of them. What do you want to know? The Laird de Lan, Laird de Lan. I think I might have written something about them. My heart is like, ah! I genuinely feel a bit queasy. And then she, she looks over and, are there more with you? Have you other students? I'm gonna... Uh... You hear it all, this conversation. And you can see that the, the ghoul has just stepped away from the door and he's like pressing himself up so he can't be seen, but he has like his hands on his sword at the ready. Okay. I'm gonna turn to him and be like, please don't, Please don't believe what I'm about to say to her. And Give I'm... me a persuasion check. <laughs> what you... Oh no. Because you... I know what you're about to yeah. say. Oh and god. It, it's, technically it's a deception check because you're absolutely <laughs> lying. I know Eight. you are. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, so you say that and then you, you turn around. Yeah, go on. Can I join yeah, you, Ayla? Yeah, you move out. She sees you and you see this woman and she looks so peaceful and serene. That kind of head just tilts. One of the ones from Vortensar. How wonderful. I've always wanted to meet your kind. What a wonderful bunch of students. Princess, I've, I've heard. She like floats. I've heard of your knowledge. I hate this. <laughs> and I feel like I'm going to puke. <laughs> I want to study with you. Of course. You want to learn of the magic that brought your people here, yes? I want to learn what happened at Jasavir. She looks at you. I only have knowledge from that time, but you're welcome to look at it. Perhaps you can help me, and I can help you. There is something I need to do, but I can't seem to finish it. Will you help me? I will, but first... I have some friends here and they're very sick. 
they need to leave. Oh yes, they should leave if they're sick. I don't want my servants to catch any illness. Yes, yes, send them away. I'll stay. No, no, this one seeks knowledge of the funny elven folk who came down. And so far, she's only seen the two of you, but she can kind of see like the mm. gathered bodies, but she hasn't really like, it's almost like she hasn't, she can only really focus really on what's in front of her at the mm. time. Guys. <laughs> Tom looks like he's gonna die. I don't know what to do. I don't okay. know what to do at all. Guys. So hard. You've got your chance, go. You, her voice changes. Yes, you should leave. Don't worry I don't worry want about... you here if you are sick. Don't worry about me. I will come up. Can you tell us about the Lair de Lan? This can't. tartan specifically. She looks like. I'm afraid it's something I studied long ago. It seems like so long, but it can't be. No, I have books. I can show you my book. Um, I am what? leaving. <laughs> I'm I, hobbling I, out. And as soon as Lucia steps out, oh, no. she sees you and her expression changes. Oh no. Oh, my prince. Oh, oh no! She looks, Swift Song, how? It's you. And she begins gliding over towards you. How did you reach this world? M. <laughs> It took all of my life's work to get to you, my dear. She just smiles. <laughs> my love, we'll we can finally, finally be together. Together, yes. <sighs> I'm here. Ganassi, you've brought me the greatest thing you could have brought me. My love, I have so much to show you. Come. And she holds out her hand. If I touch that hand, it's going to be bad. Yeah. I've got four HP. He, he's... He's not well. He's frail. The, the journey. Then you must rest. My, come, I will show you to my chambers, my love. Uh, This, this moment has to be perfect. And I you cannot see me like this. Give me a persuasion check with advantage. Okay. <laughs> oh, creepy. I'm gonna do it with a ghoul. <gasps> um, <laughs> she's not even ghoul. This is full on ghost. Ghost. What she was ghost. it, sorry? Persuasion. Persuasion. 23. <laughs> You're right. No, of course. I need you to be, you must be full of the life that I fell in love with. Like your beautiful paintings. She smiles at me. <laughs> She's oh. like, yes. You can rest in the Surely guest chambers. Can. I will have my servant show you the way. You've done it. I've done it's it. It's over. But my mirror is broken. We can't see your home again. The Ganassi can help me fix it. Yes, yes. You can have your knowledge. And in return, you'll help us fix our mirror. Yes, yes. And then she gestures, come, come with me, Ganassi. And then she claps her ghost hands and there is a, a pulse of vibration throughout the air. And you begin to hear the <laughs> And at the top of the stairs, this looming iron statue, nothing like a guardian. This thing is metal and armor and magic incarnate. My servant. Take my beloved prince to the guest chambers. He must rest. Students, come with me. The rest of you must leave. <laughs> God. Oh. What do we do? Valor looks up and... Oh no. I, I need to attend to his highness. He needs me, I'm his squire. Squire? Did I not send you away to- Sorry, sorry, master. And she like bows her head. She's like, sorry, my lord, but you can't possibly get ready without me. That's true. And the woman looks down. You keep poor company, my love, but if this is what you require, you desire, of course. 
and she gestures the Guardian and... It's a temporary measure, of course. Of course. We'll send her off to one of these farms around here. They have such rude humans in these lands. Barbaric. Barbaric. Not like my lands. Of course, my love. Mm -hmm. And then she just begins... <laughs> she just gestures the two of you. Come. Come, my students. I'll go, but I'm going to look back and go, Quill, Sentry, leave. Uh well, you still can. Uh, we'll be okay. <laughs> just, just leave my house. And her express, her, her form almost begins to change in color from white to black. And you begin to see her face decay. Oh. Well, I don't know what to do. We should probably leave. We're, we're leaving. We should leave. We're going, yeah, we have to, we have to go through. We have to go. All right. Okay. So, me so you guys just head out the front door. She watches you. <laughs> and then gestures to the rest. Um, unless you resist, she, you are both led upstairs, but she lets Lucius is taken away first. Lucius and Valor are taken away by the no, Guardian that just follows you upstairs. This is the worst thing that could have ever happened. Well, the worst thing would have been we died already. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> we've split the party into three. This is atrocious. So you are led the worst. upstairs. I don't know what. And you're led, Lucius, oh, you're brought up the stairs, and you're taken to one of these guest chambers. You two, uh, uh, Ayla and Nova, you are led across this, this archway and you can see that the windows, the curtains have been drawn, but there is sunlight that's beginning to pool. Okay. Um, uh, Quill and Sentry, as you guys head outside, it is dawn, effectively. You're, you're and, arriving in dawn. Uh, we can see Nova and Ayla being led across the bridge as well. If you, if you make your way out into the garden, yes. Um, Arvel, you can see, is by the gates, uh, shakingly holding his crossbow. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, let's let's go with Sentry and Quill for the time being. Yeah. What would you guys yeah. like to do? What do you guys think about this? Oh. Is... We, need to, we need to come up with a plan to get in there and get those guys out because I, I can't imagine this is going to end well. <laughs> well, Nova and Ayla were led to the other building. Uh, the other building is across the river, so if we want to get them first, as far as Lucius is concerned, he's Swift Song. He, nothing's going to come... <clears throat> To any harm when Until she realises he isn't. <laughs> well, I suppose. Because, then... <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've got Arvel. Like, maybe Ar we can bring Arvel in and help. Um, uh, Arvel looks like... Arvel. The ghost has got Lucius. <sighs> okay, Arvel, so... it's... She, uh, <laughs> it's... <laughs> no, just tell me. We were attacked by more of the um, skeleton Spirit. knight sings. They drained a lot of our... Energy. Um, Basiesca. And then as we were leaving, we managed to encounter uh, Vesselvana, and she now believes that Lucius is her prince. Of course she does. Look at the paint, they look basically the same. Well, um, she take paints. Meanwhile, Nova and Ayla are being led to repair the mirror that Where's Vala? Uh, Valor's with Lucius. Oh, Valor's with Lucius. By the cradle. Ah, oh, that girl. Um, she is Swift Song's aide, I suppose, at the moment. Can't we got it? I mean, if, exactly. like you, you said, if, he, if she finds out that he's not who he says he is, and who knows? What if he touches her? What if yeah. he, she sucks the life right out of him? But also, we, we, we couldn't risk doing, we couldn't risk putting a foot wrong in case she decided to fight us, and then we'd all be all dead. Right, all right. Look, uh, we'll, they say that ghosts, you put them to rest by finishing their business or, uh, or uh, you know, you got to find some has, stories. You can destroy something precious to them, uh, free of their anchor or whatever. Well, there was a knight that we met in there, a paladin, who said that her one goal was to repair the mirror and get to the other world, I suppose. All right, so maybe that's it. But Swift Song <coughs> is here. Like, that's her goal, to get Swift Song here, and that didn't do it. But maybe the mirror, maybe she's still, you say, it was like, is it a magic mirror? It's a mirror that she was using to try and communicate with you. Maybe world. that's still, maybe that's like an anchor or something. Maybe that's keeping her spirit here. So once it's fixed, she'll disappear, but will she try and take Lucius with her? She can't, right? He's still living. Exactly. <laughs> Shit. All right, well, we gotta do something. Look, I, 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 I do not want to go in there, but if that girl and that boy are in trouble, 
stamps his foot on the ground. He's like, we got to do something. You're, you're all taking a beating and I've not done diddly squat. So. <laughs> <laughs> Shot a wall. Yeah. Very delayed. Um, Shooting a wall. You tell me what you need and I'll do it. Well, what we need is your crossbow. Um, right. There's a big guardian in there. Well, I say guardian. It's not a guardian. It's big, though. Right. Um, that is her servant. Okay. Um, Lucius is going in there to take a rest. He, he I think... So we got time. Out, he if, is if she's going to let Lucius rest, but maybe the, the two of you should rest. I'll watch out. Well, Nova and Ayla right now are being led to the mirror. Um, well, I guess maybe we got to hope that they can find a way to stall for time or something. But you can't quill look at you. You can barely stand. I know. You both need to rest. It's best you can. Um, out of RP, would that be four hours or eight hours? Because we've had four, four hours. hours for oh, okay. It's four hours for say, but it's still it's another it's four hours of light activity yeah. and four hours of rest. It's still eight hours. Like if a long rest is interrupted, yep. you don't hot save. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right, so we'll jump into Ayla and Nova. So you are led across this archway, and as she reaches the door, she opens it, but she doesn't touch it. She just holds her hands, and the door telekinetically kind of like swings open. Um, she steps inside and you can see another long corridor with a door uh, on, on, on the far wall. Um, as she approaches it, she follows. She's like, ah, you must be careful, my students. I have warded it against thieves. And she waves her hand and you can see a glyph that was on the door appears and she <coughs> seems to wave it. I have allowed it so that you two may enter as long as I am with you, so that we can study. Come. And she opens it again. And inside, you smell dried blood and burn, you know, the scent of burnt wood, f burnt flesh, decay. And you see the sign of a battle. There are no bodies, but there are scorch marks, blood splatters. Um, in the very <coughs> center of the room, etched in a kind of glowing silver pattern is a ritual circle. Um, three rings encompassing a larger ring with several rings inside that. In the very middle of the circle is a large, full-length mirror and shards scattered all over it. I want to repair it, but for some reason I cannot recall the spell that allows me to mend it. But that's where perhaps you can help me, Ganassi. Um, I would love to, but every, uh every experiment. I, I need to know the full details. I need you to tell me what yes, happened here. Every you detail. Will. I will go over it with you. Uh, you, Elf, and she gestures to a bookcase at the back. I have kept many records on the races and the creatures that have come to dwell in these lowlands. You may find some information about your, your, what did they call themselves? Wild Elves, Laird Elam. You may find some information there. You may read it in this room. And she just gestures to this bookcase very dismissively. She's like, oh, yes, yes. Go and, go and look at your little book kind of thing. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, you're very That's welcome. Sense. Yes. And she just gestures. go over to the books and start looking through and just look at Nova like... I'm just going to be like... <laughs> so she turns to you. I will tell you. I learnt much of Vorten Sar and Jasper. I became interested and other worlds. You see, my father had kept me locked in my palace up in the Sky City, and I so longed to see other places when I learned that there were others beyond, beyond the stars. Well, I wanted to see them. So I found books that taught me magic that would let me see. And over time, I, I built this mirror. It took me a lot of money and a lot of time, but with it, I could glimpse these other worlds. And then one day I met him. My prince, his land is beautiful like nothing you've ever seen. Trees and flowers, none of which we have here on, on Erois. Well, we spoke. He's a curious mind like me. He wanted to see our world. He wanted to visit. And we talked about art and music and adventures. And I fell in love with him. I wanted to bring him here and I found a ritual to do it, an old text using the magic of the archways, built by your ancestors long ago. 
at those paladins and her form begins to darken once more. Those religious zealots, they didn't understand. They didn't want me to see him, to be happy. They just wanted me to suffer like my father did. They tried to stop me, so I killed them. But now I can't seem to finish my work. I, I can't fix the mirror and the people that come here, they're thieves, or they hate me, and I... They're not like you, Ganassi. They're not students of understanding. So that's why you can help me, yes? I will. I promise I will. And I'll teach you. I'll teach you the magic that lets you see other worlds. Thank you. I'm not worthy. No, yes. Your, your people deserve it. You should be able to see your home. I, I do. I want to see what happened, where we're from. Not like those, those zealots, those, that church of Siaska. They just want, they just don't want us to see the beauty of other worlds. Siaska's jealous of them. That's what Prince Swiftson told me. Do you know, do you know the name of the world he comes from? Uh, she thinks for a moment, because that's what Kim's thinking. Uh, <laughs> he called it, he simply said it was his realm. He didn't give it a name. I never thought to ask. But yes, uh, there are, uh, and she gestures to a table. You can see that there are powders and mixtures, all in perfectly pristine sealed bottles. These are the materials I use to make the mirror. These, with a small amount of magic knowledge, should al allow you to fix it. Mm, I can instruct you. Is there any reading I can do or anything? Because, forgive me, but play, it, it's been a while and, and planar magic is still very much banned. The, the little knowledge I have, I had to find in secret. I know. Why don't you let me... Oh no, I know what you're going to do. Let me... I can use your body to fix it. For some reason, mine doesn't work, but if you let me, I can take control of yours. Would you take any of my life force in that? No, 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 no. Well, how I do not know such necromancy. That's a dark magic. I would never dream of that. But it seems that I've learned this ability, this magic that I didn't know I had. We're quite tired. Is it possible that we can rest before we work? She looks over at you, like as if you're interrupting something very important. Mm -hmm. If you wish to rest, there are areas you can sleep if you require it. She looks at you, Nova. Perhaps it would be better. You seem not right. It took a long time for, us to, for me to come here. The ritual can be quite exhaustive. I want to be on my best form. Give me a persuasion check with advantage. She looks over at you. You may do as you wish, as you wish. The guest quarters in the other building. And she just gestures dismissively. Thank you. Maybe I'll do some light reading before before rest. Do not take my books from this room. Of course not. Thirteen. Yes. Yes, it's better that you're at your full strength. Oh my God. You and your friend may rest. I'm going I'm going to get myself ready to see my prince. And she just fades through the wall. Just <laughs> <laughs> You're so kind. Prince Swift. Yeah. You and Valor are led to a very Dusty, but pretty good room. It doesn't seem to be dilapidated or decayed in any way. And the Guardian just opens this door, pushes you in. Well, not pushes you, but kind of gestures in, and then just shuts it. Guardian. It just looks. You understand me? You're treating my love well? Yeah, you better be. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Well, please, leave the others alone. They are my friends. And just looks at you. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> Val, I'm fucking terrified. <laughs> Val's like also like. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Lucius, what do we do? Lucius, what do we do? Do we jump out the window? I don't know. Isn't it? <laughs> she thinks you're, you're this this prince. Yes, but for how long? I don't know. Until I slip up or say something stupid. I don't know. Um, I just I didn't want to leave you on your own. Well, thank you, Val. I appreciate. You being here, but it's very dangerous. Yeah, the whole thing is dangerous, Lucius. Nova a, and Ayla are in danger. Is there a window? Uh, there is a window. Yes, yeah. It uh, looks out. It looks out onto um, the back gardens. Who could escape? 
I can't leave you here. Well, we could get the attention of Quill and Sentry. Okay, yeah, that's true. Do you want me to try and climb down? Just be careful of that pixie. Yeah, there might be more of those things. Okay, well, I'll try. Um, I'll need a rope or something. I don't have anything like that. Oh, I've got a rope. Oh, okay, yes, great. Do you? 50 foot, um, <laughs> You're assuming you have rope. Actually, I don't. I don't yeah, have any our, of the It was packs. mine, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. alright, I don't. I can try and climb down, but I'm not great at climbing. Uh, let's... Should I just try and sneak out? And she opens the door a crack and the guardian stood outside the door and she just shuts it again. No, not. Like, don't, don't, don't. He's out there, he's out there. I'm gonna look out the window <laughs> okay. and see if I can get their attention. It looks but... onto the other side. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, does it? <laughs> of course uh, it does. No, it doesn't, no it doesn't. It would face the right side. So yeah, Ooh. you can look down. I'm gonna put some dancing lights on. Okay, so Quill, I'd say Quill, even with your, your you know, one eye, you see like <laughs> blinking colored lights, like red, green, yellow, <laughs> red, green, yellow. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> Red, red, red. red. <laughs> that's, that's Lucius's warning signals. <laughs> He's up there in the window. Okay, we need to get over that window. <laughs> All right, I got some room. Uh, he looks around like, I don't know if you're any, are you good at climbing? Um, I can give it a go. All right, let's make our way. What kind of plan? Are we getting him out or are we going in? I don't know. We should just focus on getting yeah, something up get, there, like a yeah. rope or okay. something. Uh, rope, 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 rope. You, I've got some. Okay, good. Let's. let's like, get up he literally there. hoists his fifty foot of rope, hands one into you. Um, yeah, and give me an athletics check if you want to climb up. It's kind of got like trellis, so it's not a sheer climb, and the rock oh. is the stone is is you know uneven. So you, it's got some decent handholds, but it's still a hard climb. Nice. Let's uh, go. Let's go. Let's go. That's a two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Three plus five. Let's okay. start. So I think you make it, but there's obviously a consequence to it. Yeah. And I think that that is probably that you you start crumbling up and you make a noise, like the mm. stone kind of gives way and you scrape your arm a little bit, um, but you manage to get it. Lucius, okay. the door opens and the guardian immediately steps in. It's fine. I'm just mucking about. Give me a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> Mucking about. That's what you do. Muck around. Uh, deception. Eleven. Eleven. It kind of looks... It doesn't have a facial expression. I don't mind frowning. It just kind of looks at you, looks at Valor, and then pushes past you, and he's like checking the room. I'm going to close the windows. You just... It just like... Please. It looks around the room. I am a prince. Lifts up the bed, it just picks it up. <laughs> Checks the cupboard. It just is ignoring it. Very intrusive. Looks back. Priestess will hear of this. Shuts the door. I think I just shit myself, Bella. <laughs> it picked up the whole bed. Oh. It just picked it up like it was nothing. I know. Um, what was that noise? Is that one of them outside? Are they I climbing up? I think they're climbing. Right. I saw Quill. Sh opens it up and... Uh, Sentry. So Sentry, you managed to reach I'm gonna the top. I'm going to do like shushing gestures. You, you do shushing. You see Sentry like holding there. Locked. The window's like got some sort of locked latch. Um, can I unlatch it from the inside? Uh, yeah, you can try to. It's actually a key latch. Like it's actually got like a key lock. Valor will try and pick lock it. Yeah, 18. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I need some fresh air. I mean opening the window. She like looks at it. She's like, this window's not been opened up in a long time. Oh, I need some fresh air. It's stifling in here. Nothing. Oh. And you managed to pull yourself in, Sentry. Okay. Tie um, off the rope. Uh, if the Guardian comes in here, which it often does, you're going to be spotted and you're going to die. Let's just get you out of here first before that happens. What about Nova and Quill? Like, the Guardian's going to notice I'm gone, and then he's going to storm after the priestess, which is going to make this I whole think he meant Nova and Ayla. He yeah. said Quill, I think yeah, he meant he Nova Ayla. and Ayla. Nova and Ayla, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, my mind is muddled. But to be honest, we're, we're kind of figuring that out as we go. But Maybe take Valor, and then I'll... She just folds her arms. She's like, I'm not leaving you here on your own. Well, what do we do? We have to... I don't know. And Arvel, like... <clears throat> If he spots you, we're all dead. What? Who? The big guardian outside Shh. this door. Sorry, I'm sorry. Right uh, outside the door. He lifted up the whole bed. Well, look, what, what, what are we going to do? We, we getting you out of here or what? I don't know. If As soon as the guardian notices I'm gone, he's going to storm to the priestess. The priestess is going to guess that something's wrong. All right, but uh, is she letting you rest or something? She's letting me rest. All right, well, maybe we... 
maybe every we rest as much as we can. Yes. So at this point, Nova and Ayla, you you are making your way back, and you see the guardian stood outside one of these quarters, and it just points at the two next door. Mm -hmm. I just wave. And kind of like, can I just, before I like go in, before Ayla, I'm just gonna scream silently at... <laughs> you do that. Can we, are we going to separate rooms or...? I mean, he just, just points. You can take the same room if you want. Yeah, bye, we're friends, bye. You just get in the same room? Yeah. yeah. So you get in the same room um, and you're next door. Uh, but yeah, you, you guys are now in the guest chambers. What the fuck do we do? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. We need, we need to sleep. Can I hear them through the wall? You can make a perception check. Ooh. It's a shame Quill's not up there. Oh, fuck. No. Nope. You rolled a five. No. Nope. Eight. No. Nope. We need to rest. Lucius must be in the room next door. I know, but none of us are in a position to fight right like, now. Uh, <laughs> the best thing I'm going to have to do is fix the mirror. But You're do it as do slow as possible. She wants to possess me. I heard, but she wants to possess my body. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you're just going to like smoosh her face and be like, you need to shush. I don't want to be a <laughs> So I think at this point, those of you next door hear like this like high shrill <laughs> voice. Wait, shush, shush. Huh? Huh? That's Nova and... It's not even Nova. You, hear, you don't hear Ayla, you hear Nova. I don't want to be a ghost. <laughs> We could get them out first. Yes, let's go. Okay, no. The guardian is protecting my room. Okay. You guys move to the other window and get them out. Okay. And I put my hand over her mouth. And then, <laughs> and then get me. All right. Okay. All right. I was like, I'll shuffle over, see if I can get their attention. Just let it out. Let it out quietly. Oh, <laughs> steps outside. Whoa! <laughs> 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 oh! <laughs> Just. You hear like a thump as he lands in the rose bushes. Oh, Christ. Um, quick, can I like, try and catch him okay, or something? Like, You've got and, six yeah. seconds. What do you do? Can I get out the window as well? So you just, quick, you just, just quick jump out the window. Out Give the me window. a reflex. Give me a dexterity saving throw to see if I'm you can like, grab the rope or something. Fourteen. Fourteen. You like jump out and like grab the rope <laughs> in one hand. <laughs> Slow down. Rope burn doesn't hurt you. You're like, <laughs> and then you're like, <laughs> as the guardian like bursts oh. you again. How could you? Oh for fuck's sake, this is absurd. <laughs> God. Do we hear anything? Like... You hear like a thump from outside. Can I look out the window? You look out the side and you see Arvel like sitting like on the like flat on his back. <laughs> like ah. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. Wait, are you looking outside now? Yeah. yeah. She is, yeah. Ayla! Ayla, hey! You see Quill like waving from downstairs. I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do we do? I mean, you can use message to communicate. Oh yeah, uh, like, you point, like point to Ayla and say, I will just fell out the fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> and so you see Sexy like swinging on the rope, like, like hanging out the like wall. waving. <laughs> yes, well done, I can fucking see that. <laughs> Everyone's in the same place, are we leaving? What's the plan now? <laughs> I don't know, What'd the ghost wants like? to possess Nova. Uh, what? All right, we need to like, so Nova and Ayla are in the room next. At this point, you guys, because you can also, you can just relay everything through Quill. Yeah. Okay. Quill can literally be like, message him, yeah. talk to them, right, message them, relay the information. You can just right. bounce it. So assume that you can all speak. Cool. Yeah. We've got a three-way party line. Yeah, basically. Walkie-talkie. Yeah. Quill. You have Quill talkie. <laughs> and you should message to Ayla and Nova, tell them that we're going to get those guys out first, okay? Ayla, we're going to get you out first. Excellent. Um, Ayla? Wow. Apparently he's going to get out Sentry. She just asked how. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna climb up, open the window, get you guys out. Out the window, the okay. window's locked. The Val is in the other room. <laughs> she she's, good the other at, room. she's good at locks. So you can try and shuffle alongside, yeah. Mm. I was like, I can try and shimmy along the edge. It's our only shot. Did you manage to take she that book She just, you? she's like, <laughs> Uh, and then like careful. she's like like having like she's trying to keep all of her balance here and she's like trying to pick it at a really awkward angle so she's gonna have disadvantage. Oh, that. Still can roll below a 15 with nice. a bow. I did it! <laughs> I did it, I've got it. And she like opens it, <laughs> like gives you a thumbs up. Good job, And then shuffles back, <laughs> like gets in the room with Lucius and that. Good job. 
If you guys can climb down, that would be great. But she doesn't roll below a 15. This fucking NPC cannot roll low. Can't. Okay. Well, I need to have a quiet word with you now that I've calmed down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you take the book? What book? On your clan. Could I? She left the room. She very specifically. Yeah, she left the room. If you wanted to try and sneak it out, but yeah. Is it worth doing that? Oh, she might be back there. Well, make it. Did you take it with you? Just without consultation. No, probably not. Okay, didn't take it. Because I thought we were gonna rest and then yep. go back. Because now that I think about it, she's gonna teach me something really powerful. Are you saying you wanna stay? No. Because if we need to stay, then I need to get some rest so that I can take her on. At the moment, none of us can. Is, you need to do. Is Lucia safe? No, probably not. Arvel's in a bush. I don't know what to do. Can I relay this to Quill? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you relay all of this information. Nova wants to stay. Nova, uh, I kind of want that book. Nova wants to stay. <laughs> as soon as there's um, a very flimsy line. Lucia's gone to sleep. No, I can't sleep. <laughs> I'm saying all of this. <laughs> <laughs> he said no, he wasn't want to sleep. <laughs> I have it, I have my potential point have is, idea. I'm deathly pale. Get to sleep. No. <laughs> Sleeping won't help. And also, as soon as she finds out I'm not Swift Song, which is going to happen, next time we meet, we're all dead. Well thing is, that paladin told us that we could try and dissuade her from the idea of communicating with your world while your Swift Song. What if you just turn out to not be the Swift song that she fell in love with? And she decides... To kill me? No, yeah. Well, that's one path, true. <laughs> oh, the that other is a path, possibility. The it's other a very possibility. permanent path, Quill. No, that's a very permanent path, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, what if her goal is to communicate with you, is to fix the mirror to get to this world, what if she just finds out that you're just not that good. <laughs> she, you're not worth it. She's She'll definitely centuries me waiting for me. Me. <laughs> for him. <laughs> Did you not see the paintings? She's obsessed. And she's but now dead we, and obsessed. If we fix the mirror, that might put her at rest. I think her object is anchored, right? So it still exists. We need to destroy it. But it's destroyed now. But it's not really destroyed. It's still so there, we fix it and destroy it? Maybe. I mean, once we fix it, she'll disappear. If I, I fix it, if I fix it as Swift Song, that's gonna be really good, like in the goody books with her. So if I mend it. So are you guys leaving or not? Problem yeah. number one. I just need to know what you guys want to do next. I'd like, like to leave. Point. We're all half dead. I'd like to leave. We should leave. We should leave. Either. We should leave at least until we're ready to come back. Yes. She's gonna be so disappointed. But she'll be here waiting. Nova, are you trying to be a good student right now? Because this is not the time. I've always been a good student. Not this I've time. never disappointed my teachers. So is the, pl is the plan <laughs> that you guys want to jailbreak this? Lucius, run? right now, at least for the time being, <coughs> you're safe enough to rest. <laughs> if I rest. If you leave, that's going to cause much more problems. We could rest, then escape. The problem is in the house. If we're out of the house, it's no longer a problem. True, but if the plan is that we want to come back to this place, then... <laughs> Whether I know about my 4 HP staying or not. Yeah. Because it's, it's going to stay. Know. You wouldn't yeah. know. None of you would really know how this works. Oh, I thought we all knew it was like a long rest thing. Nope. Oh, yeah. You don't know when it goes away. That's, that's out of game knowledge. Well, in, in, in that case, like... <laughs> We, we have to go. We can't. We just can't do it. We would go. Yeah, no, you wouldn't know. Yeah. <coughs> I think some, no, somebody made a religion check. I think I might have done. I think you did. I think oh, yeah, somebody made a religion, religion check, check and you check did and work it's... out that it would probably go away on a long rest. Actually. It didn't say specifically, but it was more it like, was like a, if you, you rest. Some creatures rest, but... drain your life force and generally get it back after a night's sleep. Yes. I'm pretty sure that did happen. So you would know that. So you and Lucius would know that because you told people. So. Do you want to do this? I never did. <laughs> I never did. Ayla did. Remember she pointed and said win, 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 win. And then didn't point at me and said win. There's nothing for me here. <laughs> Lucius, what do you want to do? 
I don't really want an undead bride, frankly. I'm a great actor. Daddy always said I was good in the theatre, and that I always aspired to be a great do actor. Do you want to stay or do you want to go? I would very much like to go, but I well, understand. Let's go there. Then we go. We'll come back. We're going to have to fight either way. If we piss her off now, we'll piss her off later. It will be hard to convince her that Lucius is Swift Song if Swift Song just vanishes. We don't need to convince her next time. No. I could say the spell reversed. When he vanished. Yeah. No, I don't think that would help. She'd just get angry. And, and she probably her. knows a lot more about planar magic than you. I don't know anything about planar magic. I think Let's we need go. to leave. So you're going to leave now? <coughs> so you're going to climb down? Yeah. Okay. Don't look at me like that! So anybody who's climbing down, athletics checks. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, crap. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that Eight. was only a nine. Okay. Nine? <laughs> oh, thank God. Uh, 17. Okay. Ayla, you take three points of damage. Oh, wait. I can... Because you fall wait. out. <laughs> no, I can't. You could. You still have to My strength oh. feels diminished from... <laughs> So, uh, I hate this. <laughs> just, just don't quite grab it. You got seventeen. You climb down normally. Mm -hmm. Can I cast Lu uh, Lucius? Levitate. Can I cast Lucius? Levitate, on levitate? Lucius down. Can yeah. I levitate Lucius? So you just, That's he just idea. stands at the thing, and then you're like, <laughs> and you float down. Uh, Century, you're already on the rope, so you just climb down. Uh, why am I rolling D six? Valor climbs down, no problem. Yeah. I think that's everything. Of course she does. Nice. Literally rolled another fourteen. <laughs> Christ. So uh, yeah, you guys climb your way down. Uh, dawn. It's probably about yeah, like eight a.m. The sun oh, is shit. is up. Let's go. Let's go. You guys make your way off. Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. You get back out onto the road. You go yeah. past the gardens. Like yeah, there's nothing out here that's gonna gonna catch you out here. So well, you you leave. That was too close. Lots of tasty XP left behind there. <sighs> we'll come back. We fought the spectres though and killed them. You'll get some. You'll get some experience for those spectres. <coughs> but did I find anything out while I was reading while she was telling Nova? So I think the problem is, is no, because you would have literally had like a brief flick through. You could tell that she has some information. Like she had a lot of like collected information about wild elves who came to Erois and to Savona specifically. Um, and she starts writing about these kind of like, it's almost like an amateur anthropology, like she finds it fascinating. Mm. But there's so many books <coughs> that you literally were like flicking through trying to find it. And then it was like, okay, you go rest or whatever and then come back to it. Um, yeah, no, I'm not gonna, sadly, you gotta, you gotta take some risks if you wanna get those rewards. Um, like getting possessed by a ghost. I think yeah. we took quite a few risks yeah. in general. Risk. Uh, so what's the plan? You get back on the road, are you just gonna try and rest as soon as you can, as soon as you're safe? Or are you gonna if try we could and... put some distance between us, yeah, and you can then... get to the road. Like the the the, the <coughs> yeah, they don't palace come itself. Out of it. You've never seen them come out of it, yeah. though. So you guys take a long rest. There's a few things. <sighs> Who's taking watch? I can take watch. So Sentry's gonna take watch. I'll take one. I should and then probably long watch. rest. You can take long rest. Well, you can. Everyone's taking a long rest, but you you've got four hours where you're awake. Right. When I'm awake, I could do the second half. Yeah. <coughs> so a few things happen. Okay. Uh... Quill. Do you we? go into a meditative state, uh -huh. try and catch up on the sleep that you've lost. And you do begin to feel a warmth kind of spreading through your body as you dream again. You're not flying. This time you're at a mountain top. Okay. It's a wide valley, and at the very edge of the valley, a permanent storm. The valley of the storms. Your final test as a messenger. Uh -huh. But there are no other Aracoca this time. It's just you. Both your wings, your messenger bag, everything you had. There's someone flying from the storm towards you. They're a man. Long, feathery, white wings. And he holds a staff. As he kind of flies closer and closer to you, you begin to see him smiling. He nods. And the vision before you changes. You see Rose Hall, the palace, the manor. It shifts and changes again. You see the archway bridge and you follow a woman. She makes her way over to the guest chambers. You don't hear her, but you can see her. The door opens and she sees an empty room with an open window and she screams. And you know that that scream would end your life if you were there. Oh my God. Her face distorts and turns black and you begin to see a dark power clinging to her. 
and then your vision begins to change. It follows back the way that she came, leaving her screaming, howling in rage. Your vision passes into a room that you've never seen before. A broken mirror stands in a circle and a bookshelf behind it. A book glows, glows with Hesper's light, white golden light. On its binding, you see a silver feather and a voice. Something tragic happened here once. Magic beyond even mine. It's amazing what you mortals can achieve. There's something here that will help you, but there's a danger. That mirror, it holds a dark power. I know that this is new to you, Killak. But this is what happens when you're chosen, and then the vision ends. Oh, before I even get to say anything to him. Nova. Oh, hi. The same blackness, that empty shuttle, Tiangong. There's no words, just that pulsing green light, the power, whatever it was in that old shuttle, that forgotten magic. And Tiangon hovers in that same chamber where you found him. You get that same hunger that you felt before. Power. Me. Power. And you see the mirror that you saw in your memories, and Tiangon saw it too. Power. Me. Power. Those of you who are on watch, it's about eight hours. You complete your rest. But that's when you hear the scream. Yeah. Her wail echoes. And even this far out, you feel it shake the essence of your life. Weakened as you are, if you'd been closer, you think that that scream has the power to kill. Oh. Straight up. And you wake up with a long rest, you get your maximum hit points are all restored, everybody's healed, Yay. everybody's great! Great times! Ready for another day! Uh, I'm kind of uh, really curious as to what would happen if she possessed me, but now she hates me. Well, we've got a little bit of time, so what's the plan? What do you guys want to do? You wake up, you're on the road, Arvel is cooking a breakfast, he's got a little pan out, do humming. I, do we feel better? <laughs> yeah, you feel like the world has changed. The only difference for Lucius, for you, is there's like a white hand, like almost like a claw print over your chest, just pure white. Your skin hasn't regained its color, like over your heart. Ooh. Arvel cracks Ooh. a couple of eggs, so a <coughs> bit of bacon frying in the pan. Ah, man, am I glad to be away from <laughs> that place. Ooh boy, <laughs> never want to deal with ghosts again. Never again. <sighs> I swear I heard a, in my nightmare, or a, a, a trance, but I heard a scream. No, that was real. Yeah, that was oh, real. You heard, real. Oh, you heard he that. He discovered that you're gone. Um, but it's like, yeah. Yeah. I think um, she spent her entire life, or her entire death, um, trying to see Swift Song again. And for a few minutes, she got him, and then he left. So it's I mean, really sad. I feel really sorry for her. Yeah, she killed a lot of people. She did kill yeah. a lot of people. You she... didn't see that room that we went in, but there was a lot of blood. Was there? It sounds like yeah. Yeah, there was there was stained blood in school. No, Nova. Didn't. Oh, Nova just didn't pay attention. She was paying it. attention to the mirror right, and the got ritual. You, got you, got you, got you. Uh, <coughs> I guess so, but didn't didn't that paladin tell us that you know his people tried to. They, they ruined what she dreamt of for so long. I mean, that, that doesn't excuse what she did, but she's clearly kind of mad, right? Like, I don't... Oh, yeah. I just feel sorry for her. She's crazy. Yeah. She was meddling with things that shouldn't have been meddled with, and Nova, I still don't think you should meddle with them. And I know you want to. But it seems very dangerous. It's what brought upon the whole... Sundering. Yeah. Mm, is it? Yes. They came from another world. Destroyed everything. But they didn't come necessarily be planar magic. There's a saying about curiosity and a cat. 
but I, I can't remember what it is. Mm. But I think that fits. Well, so is just, I mean, the dragon men came from another world and they're okay. I've met some of them, they're good. They helped us fight Starbane. I'm from another world. I think that specific, really dark, bad one, Mira, that's probably bad. And probably linked to a place that's really bad. And bad, it's really bad. Do you know what happened at Jasavir? No, I don't. You should know. I keep skipping a lot of history lessons. The High Elves, they did experiments in planar magic, and somehow they teleported the entire city of Jasavir to where my homeworld, Vortensar, was, and they brought Vortensar here. Wow. They brought us here. Mm. I am here because of that magic. My ancestors were brought here because of that magic. Not everything that comes from up there is evil and dark. No, but that mirror probably was. But I'm trying to find a way to see if I can bring Jasavir back. We can, we can find To bring those way. high elves home. We absolutely. And to see if we can find a way to see if there's more Ganassi out there. There uh, might be more of a lot of things out of there, but the, does that mean they should come here? Like, there's probably... But fear, I know I know you are a lovely person, Nova. Fear is powered want. by a lack of knowledge, by not knowing what there is. If you can research, if you can find, if you can put an answer to something, you take away that fear. I'm not saying I'm looking to bring the end of the world. I'm not saying I'm looking to bring Callus back here. I'm trying to find what's up there because if I come from up there, and if Dragonborn come from up there, there's got to be more good. There's probably more good, but there is also bad, and that's going to have an effect on the whole world. So you ask an outlaw and playing on magic for a reason, Nova. Because of Callus. Well, even before But that Callus. prevented my ancestors from going home. And she wouldn't have done that if it wasn't for a good reason. She, she... I, I'm not a religious man, but I mean, there's nothing you can say about the Star Mother that she just wanted to protect this world. And I'm not saying that was wrong. I'm not saying she made the wrong decision. Callus needed to be stopped. Right. But what I'm saying is I'm not trying to, to end that. I'm not trying to, to ruin this. I just want to see where Jasavir went. I want to see if there's more of us up there. I want to see what's out there. I wasn't going to... Like, I wasn't going to help her to, to, to do whatever evil intent she had. I saw the specters and I saw what they did to you and I'm not... She had no evil intent, really, did she? I she don't was, think so. She just wanted to be with the person she loved. She just did evil things in her obsession. I don't think she realised that what she was trying to do could put anyone else in danger, to be fair to her. Yeah. But, but she's still... I'm going in with my eyes open. I, I don't want to do what she ended up doing. People always... <sighs> Yusuf and Corin. Valor kind of goes quiet for a second. They always told me not to explore my magic, and that's helped all of us a load, right? Yeah. Like, I, I love... Siaska, I love the gods, but sometimes it feels like, I don't know, they always treat us like children that can't look after ourselves. That's what the teachings kind of come off as, right? Maybe they should give us a bit more credit, and maybe some of us can be trusted to look at planar magic, or, or magic that we have inside of us, like, like you and I do, Lucius. You know, that's, that's weird and, and different, but I don't know, I just, I sympathize with you, Nova. I, I think it is risky, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I sympathize. Uh, I will help and go to the ends of the rows to help you find this planar magic, but I will not have you possessed by an undead specter of a woman. Yeah, that's kind of fair. Yeah, that's yeah. Fair. That was fair. <laughs> Let's find that's, another way to do it. Yeah, I wasn't quite up for that yet. Right, in which well, case. Even better means we're not going in the spooky house. I'm going to get breakfast finished. And then we can get on our way to Gold Throne. Oh, it's gonna be great. Y'all gonna love it. Mmm. Gold Throne. Yes, there so can he can go off and chops more firewood and does things that a dwarven merchant does when he's extra exciting himself in the conversation. 
Um, so, quick question before we end the episode. What is the plan? What do you guys want to do? Just crack on? Get on the road? Want to go back? Oh, huh? Kind of. Yeah. Let's go back. Look at him. Look at you. Let's go back. She's so mad. Let's go back. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> maybe I just popped out to get some flowers for her. And, and some the, chockies. And the Guardian wouldn't let me, so I snuck out the window. And like, some little chockies. Oh, devilish. Anyway. Uh, yeah, just tell me what the plan is. Like, give me a vague indication. Where, where's, gold throne. Put a hand up. Like, okay, gold throne, hands up. Gold Desperately daddy. I, I could go either way. Honestly. Okay. Right. Sounds like <laughs> I think Nova will content. quietly say to Ayla, we'll find knowledge. It won't just be You keep be telling that. me lots about libraries and books and stuff, so I'm pinning my hopes and dreams I have a on library your knowledge. Pass. And I hold it up. And whatever that is. Okay. okay? Before we do that though, I want to use my glamour disc and take a shot of you so I can take a shot of your tartan. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so she, you scan yeah. Ayla and you can now create a uh, illusory... Little Ayla. Yeah. It's, no, it, it can be oh, full yeah. size. Yeah, it can a big be full Ayla. Size. Yeah. So it's like a, an illusory duplicate of Ayla. This will help me. Quill. It's really weird. He's got something okay. he wants to say. Look at him. I know I'm really good at jumping in when everyone's made a plan and coming up with an opposite plan. Here we go. <laughs> Literally, every time. But for the first time, I had a vision of Hesper. What? Uh, ever, well, first time since I was hit by the storm anyway, an actual message from him. And we're, we've regained our energy now. We're healthier than oh. we were. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We've also really pissed her off. Yeah. Yes, but I think now, to quote Ayla, there is actually a win for everyone, <laughs> including me. <laughs> I don't get much. What do you mean? What is there for me there, apart from pretending to be... I mean, I'll do it for all of you, absolutely, but I have to go back to that. Uh, true. Well, do we have to go back to her? Like, you know where the, the mirror and stuff is, right? There it's was warded, a, is it not? Yeah, there was a lock, can a magic lock on the door. I it? don't know. I don't, I don't have the I, spells. I think we could go to Gold Throne and maybe rally some, either some knowledge or... Wizards. ...people that could help. It's there true. is a lot of sorcery happening there. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. That's true. They, okay. could, they could break the ward. At least work on getting stronger as well. Yes. Yeah. And once we go to Gold Throne, <coughs> I'll send a message to Daddy, or he, he would have already sent one to me to Gold Throne, obviously. And then we, I can use all of my family's services. We could probably buy the land and then demolish the house. Build some nice flats. Yeah. What are flats? Mm, well, there are when you stand. Okay, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're not going to go into <laughs> ridiculous conversation. Um, I'm gonna finish up there. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna finish up there. Build a nice one rose thing. garden. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Water Over the rose rats. garden. <laughs> What's our XP like, Mark? Oh, well, you're not gonna get all of it because there was a lot of the mana and things that you didn't find and didn't do. You we did didn't find those, die. You, yeah, that's gonna be counted. That's a win. Uh, you also fought a very, you fought a hard encounter oh. against the Spectres, so you'll get XP for that. So, I'm just working it out now. I think that that is gonna be called at. 300 XP oh, each. No, it's not enough. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> All right, we have to go back in there oh, and kill the just a tiny amount. Oh, is it really? Let's go yeah. back. Why oh my you... god, it's less than 80, 100. Come 80 on, it's 80 XP. XP. Why don't you flick the pixie a little bit harder? Can we just I go kill some more pixie and knock it out? No. All right. Oh. No. But I'll tell you what, if you had gotten uh, some of the treasures in the house, maybe we did would have pushed you over. Just go in there, pick up one gold piece. <laughs> All right, nice. We gave Kay. this dude a whetstone. Yeah, you did. Sure, that's worth like. Shame he's nice. not been put to rest. That would have got you some bonus XP. <laughs> but we could have. We didn't die. But you didn't die. We didn't die. That's, that's, die. that's, that's the ultimate much. reward. We have life experience. Yeah, exactly. That could have been very easily. Who cares about experience points when you have life experience? Yeah. <laughs> that could have very easily become a TPK. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah. Real easy. Luckily, yeah. There was a couple of good factors and some clever. <laughs> Uh, learning, learn time. Let's talk yeah. to the lady yeah. and very, not piss her off. Let's read some donations. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I'm so sweaty. We read some donations. <laughs> uh, we're going to try and rattle through those to finish up quickly. OK. 
Okay. Okay, thanks, Steve. So, Trotty's going to get up the uh, reader. Who else iPad. on this table is really sweaty? Oh, yeah, God, like I... nervous sweat. Yeah. Oh, me. I got oh, really shaky. Sweating. For yeah. Sweat. So, so, just so folks know, when we cut to the break, I thought Lucius had died. We all did. We all thought yeah. he had died. Turns out that because he had passed his save in the first time against the creatures, the second attack didn't reduce his maximum hit points to zero. It just reduced him to zero with his current hit points. Yes. So if you're wondering why Very he didn't close. die, that's why it wasn't like a, oh no, we're going to change it at the last minute. It just, the math worked out. But there was a genuine, like, I had a look at, I was like, yeah, sorry, dude. Like, this has happened. So, yeah, you know, yeah. And we were planning, like, what to do. Right. <laughs> read them out. Just read through them, Chris. Just, you yeah. just Azul Aura donated. This is one of two high rollers. And I'd say thank you for your getting me into D&D because I'm DMing my first game of the week after the next. And I would never have done it without you. You're all such amazing players. And Mark, you've inspired me so much to try DMing. Also, since I spent last week making my way through Lightfall, just over halfway through now, can we Ooh, wow. still submit art the old campaign? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I've been drawing Always. the old crew a whole bunch. NPCs! Of crying over Nilistri and co. Well, thank you very ah, much. Ah, Nilistri. Good luck with your yeah. game. Nasal oh, tree. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet, innocent days. Have a fun time, Professor dear. Oakley donated. Yeah. Mark, I've painted my first ever 40k army fancy game, Kappa. Really, though, nice to see Rhiannon back. And here's to all the good times and funny moments you've given us. Thank you very much. Night Drives and Aid. Oh no, I have all these dice and D&D goodies, but nothing to hold them in. Whatever will I do? Wait, this is a magnificent creation. A High Roller's tote bag, uh -huh. better than yeah. two fantastic colors. Hey. Wow, High Roller saves the day once again. Thanks, pals. <laughs> Thanks, Night Drive. Grab that tote bag. Sweet plug. Tote Well, Renvy, thank you very much for donating. Dancing on Fire, thank you very much for donating. Zverka. Um, donated. Hello everyone, hope things are going well. I can't watch live yet, but trying to keep up with the practice of donating regularly because you are very much deserve it. Uh, also, much. good luck with Nano Remo. Oh, thank you very Mark. much. I still haven't had the courage. Kim's doing it as well. Time to try it myself. Well, good luck with you do. It's scary. Um, Drag Star donated. Hello, all wonderful, wonderful to see smooth faced Mark back in charge. But where is the blonde haired cutie from last week? Who hope knows? she returns soon. She was Seriously, happy. though. Thanks for the wonderful session today, and just what I need after that shit show of a week at work. I know how you feel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, really going through right it. There. I'm right that train. Thank you very much for your quarter hundo, Metamania. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rock, found your bits. Thank you very much, Rythax. Another quarter hundo. Hi all, first ever visit Bristol for work, and I'm currently watching the stream from a hotel practically next to Yog Towers. You'll cool. <laughs> see the place for real. Keep rolling high, Mark. Keep rolling I, high, I, not you, Mark. Oh, oh I did. <laughs> yeah. I rolled real high. Yeah. Uh, I just do all of these for? Yeah. Varys yeah. donated, fuck, this is intense. <laughs> <laughs> Florent 10 today thought I would get to chill out watching High Rollers, but I shit myself at least three times during today's stream. <laughs> Good episode. So did everybody else, yeah. Yep. Nightjar again. The fuck, guys? My heart's been going on a mile a minute since before the break. I need a lie down. <laughs> Yeah, it got better. <laughs> God damn it, Steve. <laughs> Donated. Marjorie. Milady, Milady, his chat's bets for daddy. Sorry, this week 26 people bet, and the winner is S. Refany J with their bets of six. Thank you, Azul Aura, for counting. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Bet. Six daddy count. Awesome. Thank you very much for all the donations. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with our sideshow, which we do on High Rollers D&D and D&D, uh, &D, the Twitch channel, called Rogue's Gambit. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be back next week for more Eros to, yeah, I guess, the Roll to Go Throne. The if Road you to liked Gold this Throne. episode, the Roll to Go Throne. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so first episode watching, yes. which a lot of you were, there is a YouTube channel, uh, .com slash High Rollers D&D, where you can catch up on all the previous episodes yes. before next week. We've yeah. actually, it's also split out into chapters on the YouTube channel, so you yeah. can jump into the most recent chapter, this we'll one. Start there, yeah. Or you can jump back and watch mm, it from the beginning. Yeah. It's also, also a podcast. It's also a podcast. Sorry, you, I was yawning. <laughs> if you follow us at High Rollers D&D on Twitter, you will find out probably most of the information and updates that we have in regards to when we're live streaming, uh, when episodes and podcasts go out, and general merch things. Yeah. So that is the place to go. So if Let's you don't go. have Twitter, yeah. get it. Mm. Follow us. But hey, yeah. thanks for watching. Dude. Big thanks to D&D Beyond, our sponsor for this yeah, episode. Thanks. We're wrapping things up now, passing it over to Kath and other people on Twitch. So watch bye. that. See you later. Goodbye. Bye. 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 B